All right, I've had my sour gummies, and now we're ready to roll. Uh, we need, oh wait, we need our tags. Hold up, I'm ready to roll. Stream is not just of yet. You have a stream starting soon. Screen for a reason. Yeah, I know, but I'm, you know, dumb. Hello, Derek. How are you, sir? All right. Save that, and now we are good to go. Oh wait, we have to uh, go ahead and share this link here in that old Discord. Guess who's back? Back again. Thief. Thief. Back. Hide the men. I mean, tell your friends. At everyone. <laughs> Paste. There we go. Send now. Alright. What's up, Dominic? How are you? First stream you caught in a while? Yeah, well, it's uh, my first stream. Uh, I didn't stream at all last week because I was on vacation, so it's, it's a first for me in a week. <laughs> How you doing, man? Uh, I'm good. That's good to hear, Derek. Uh, I am doing good as well. Thank you for asking. What's up, Shaun? How are you, sir? Uh, let's go ahead and close that out. We can close that out. Close this out and look at me being all professional, muting my mic so I can belch. All right, so where were we? We have to do this, and then we gotta do this. Got my coldest water bottle full of water. I'm ready to go. Till I drop. What's up, Terry? How are you, sir? Hello? 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 Thanks for asking. You're welcome, man. Hello? Hello? Hey, what's that, man? What am I doing? What? What's going on, dude? <laughs> like I'm unloading this big ass like uh, silo complex so I can get rid of it, dude. Oh, for real, dude? Yeah, it's like humongous compared to everything else at, my, at the farm, dude. Yeah, you got it, dude. I mean, that's the point, dude. A lot of drain, dude. Yeah, but it's like a ridiculous size, dude. I mean... You don't even have that big of a farm for it, dude. Not really, dude. Yeah, I mean, you're all right. You're right, you're right, dude. <laughs> rot, rot. Rot on, dude. Rot on. Oh, boy. <laughs> Can I do Nah, uh, dude? The last. Nah. Relax, dude. Nah, dude. Nah. Dude. Relax, dude. Uh let's see. Oh boy. Hi boy. Hey girl. Have you kept up with that crazy ass dude? No, I've I've stopped. Well he got into a oh god I got the sour stuff on. Okay. Anyway. Uh, he got into it with a dude on the internet because he thought he was, was like the guy was playing a character so he was going back and then he realized the guy was like needed some serious help. Oh my <laughs> so god. He, he ignored him and then he, the the guy was like harassing his whole family and even his brother who he's like my brother is like a country ass don't do anything on the internet type of folk. And he goes, I got a phone call from my little brother. Or, or big bro. Well, I remember. He's like, hey, uh, I got this guy. 
<laughs> going on. Come to find out, the guy was trying to say he was going to hit up his 13-year-old sister. So, he, he drove to this guy's town and waited outside the gym because the guy wanted a boxing mat match. So, he waited outside the gym for this guy to show up. And the guy drove by, yelled out the window, ran a stop sign, got pulled over. <laughs> Be it all. This link, yes sir. What's up, Zachary? How are you? Oh, bed. I could probably go to bed. That's tired? Yeah. Yeesh. I've been up since five this morning. No oh. napskis. No napskis, yeah. I'm tired. Oh, dad. All right. Uh. Sweet caveman. Ba ba ba. Oh yeah, so I may or may not have had to use some money. Huh? I may or may not have had to use some money. Uh, uh, I thought we were up close to a million dollars when I last come in here. We had... Ah, uh, yeah, no, you... Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, we were like at 800, 900,000? Yeah. Yep. Never yeah. fails. I had to buy a tractor. Never fails. What happened to the, the the case magnum that we had? It's still there. Okay. So you just you, you had to buy a tractor because the one we had wasn't good enough. Is it just, just yeah, it didn't have enough horsepower. No. Oh, it didn't. No. This thing requires 500 horsepower. The one that I put in the day? Uh, I don't know about that one. I used an oh. in-game one. Didn't really go sell the in-game one to buy the mod, but I think that one also uses a 500 horsepower. All I know is Tony was like, I want this one because I can't use the one, the other modded one for contracts. And he said, this other one, Tyler won it. That's why I was like, did you want this fucking? Yeah, <laughs> fucking. Tony's reading your mind over here or some shit. It, well, I mean, I was streaming and I was like, I'm going to have to look for one. And then I found it and I was like, yeah, I mean, the in-game one works, but this one would be kind of cool. So. Tony just stalking your, your stream. Yeah, I mean, I, it was a stream. I, you know, kind of like all your. I clicked on it. I clicked on it. And it was like 25 minutes ago. I was like, all right, fine. Logan. That, yeah, because the way the other platform works is if you lose your current viewers, then it drops your overall down and it messes it up. Mm -hmm. So I'm trying to hold that. and the, But I'm trying to do it hours and I'm trying to get the other thing. I think, what, oh, the stream times, like, per day, so. Well, so it, it was only one person, it was only Tony, and I was like, I, I can't keep doing it or else it'll drop my average thing, so. Average views. So here's what we do, alright? Here's what we do, I got a plan. Huh? Never mind, because no one follows me over there. I was going to say, what we do is, I stream, yeah. and I host, host your stream. And um, oh, yeah. But, no one follows me over. I was going to say, so. nobody, yeah, nobody got the memo to go over there. No, no one does. It's just so, so much, much better, better. It's viewing it's experience, so though. Yeah, it's get. so interactive and everything. Like, but over here, yeah. I don't know, man. Do we have enough money? Yeah, we got enough money. I'm gonna take money. Uh... You think, so have you ever been recognized out in public by your voice alone? And don't show your face. How much horsepower is the no, tractor no we have ever... now? That Magnum? 
Oh, fuck. You should look. look. It's under the. It's under like RO. What? You should look. It's under what? Under owned tractors. You should look and see how much oh. horsepower that has. You able to do that? Large tractors. The Case Magnum 400 power drive has 435 horsepower. The one you got has 692 horsepower. Ooh. It might be able to do it. But yeah, no one's ever recognized, for 400 recognized on this one. my voice. A couple of people have figured out, uh, mainly in the fire department. Would, okay, so am. that leads me to the next question. For a planter, what kind of a planter do we want? And do we need this big tractor? Uh, I was going to use the... Uh, the little baby one? one? No. Uh, oh. The John Deere ones? The planter? Yeah. No, I was going to use the Great Plains one because that does everything. Ah, oh, yeah, yes, it does. Yeah. And hello, by the way. Hello. Hello, Brandon. Did you so enjoy that your is weekend a 280, off? so we could use the Magnum for that as well. That was the main reason I wanted the Magnum was for that, so. Right. If you want a tractor, get, get yourself a tractor. What the fuck? What? Hmm. I didn't test it in multiple. It's not color. What? This fucking thingy. It's a mod that we got that is screwing it up. It's yeah. gotta be. There's gotta no way all the mods are like this. What? Yeah, it's a mod that we got somewhere. It would be in from day one then or whatever. We'd be doing it. Uh, something from that we had in that last map because it didn't start until that last map. Oh my fuck me, you piece of fucking god. Shiver me timbers. But see, mm -hmm. you could, you like when what I bought, you did it and it worked fine. But if you, if you buy it, you can't change the color of the correct. Well, color. come over so here maybe... and see if you can customize it. I'm at the is shop. This, this is the John Deere one that we had before. I mean, no, it's a different game. Oh yeah, that's right. That was same 17. game, different map. No, no, we're in Farmstone 22. Yeah, it was 19. Is that John Deere? Yeah, it was a 19. Had. It was when it was happened. But oh. it's the same idea. Yeah, it is. Change that bitch to Case IH on both colors, and then change the brand into Case IH. The brand in this Case IH. Nah. Uh, where'd this thing come from? Did you buy this? Tony. Okay. Why do we need another one? No, it's blue again. Yeah. What the fuck? Well, I'm gonna bump up our money and keep with money. That's stupid. What is causing What's that? the error code? Oh, you're yeah, missing AI agent, agent attachment. <sighs> Why are we buying two things? Is Tony doing his own farm too? Yeah. Oh, well, I don't okay. know if he's doing his own farm, but he's doing contract. Okay. That's probably really good you don't get recognized by your viewers. Let's say, because I thought of his own. Yeah, that's the main reason why I don't do my own thing. Because I, I, the I've heard the like, stories of, of like, people who. What do we do? What, what happens if we do this? Not stupid. Does the cultivator maybe not do that? Do you sell that? Is that does that work? I don't know. I'm not. I'm gonna purchase my. I got red. Hey! So what did you usually do? I just made the red color that was was not the end game color. So get this one out of here. So, so you made it a red that's not an end game color? Yeah, I made it the uh, paint it bright ah, red fuck. color. That's fine. It works. I'm gonna get us some reimbursement money because I spent at least five. I'll try to fix it. Yeah. Well, but. 
So if you're gonna use, I'm gonna see if this Magnum will pull this with ease or not first before I sell this tractor. Cause it only calls for 400 horsepower, but I have a feeling it'll use more because giants. That's a technical fail. <laughs> oh man, God. Whew. Oh yeah. Yep. There you go. <laughs> I don't know why. This is gassy. <laughs> I don't have enough money for the silo. What's up, dirty? Yeah, hold on. How are you? For some YouTubers, if not all, some of the viewers are crazy enough that they show up. I gotta yeah. reimburse some money. Yeah, that's what I was, the I was saying. And then, uh, or as soon as I get to the field. Dominic, there was, and then if Magnum been... pulls this, I'll sell this tractor off because we don't need it then. There's been uh, YouTubers that have, uh, like, their kids have been in videos Good. and stuff. Mainly, like, the the like the like kids that do, like, the, the, cham the family channels that, that are focused on the kids. There's yeah. been people that actually show up to, like, the kids' school to trying to see the kids. Like, it... D <laughs> people have no boundaries these days. It's... It's... It's scary. Awesome. Wow. Like, I would never, never in like the my, just, never, never. Oh yeah, show we up do. To some I just will do that before we plant next. Kids' school trying to see them. Like that's so weird. But there's people who go to these YouTubers' kids' schools just to try to see the kids. It's, and then there's that one that the. Philip DeFranco, uh, he was recording a news thing, like, in his office. He was actually recording a video, and this guy just walks in, and he's like, I'm sorry, do I know you? This guy was just a fan that walked no, into no, his building, made it into his office, made it into his, like, his room's, his office office, while he was recording a video. That's... Mm, that's nutty. God. You alright? No. My tummy hurts. <laughs> Send me have some cargo bail. Not today. I did the other day. I paid for it. Dearly. Dump. <sighs> yeah. It was not uh. it was not pretty. But it was good going down. I what is it? Is ours BFC? Yeah. Yeah. There you go. By your silo. <sighs> Can I though? Should be able to. If not, it's out of our budget. Barely. Jesus Christ. So we ought to go to someone cool like you probably. Prefer. Yeah, no, no kidding. But there's people. Like I said, people just don't know what boundaries are anymore. It's a clear line you don't cross, and these people are crazy enough to do it. That's what that's the, the scariest what in part the about the world. Is that what? It's like the only green silo complex out right now. All the other ones are just the just those end game ones that are multi fruit. Huh? Yeah, the, the, the <laughs> twenty two seriously lacking when it comes to. Uh, silo complexes where in freaking 19 we had all, all kinds of them. I don't know why nobody's doing all them. Kind. However, everyone's happy with what they got. Should be the chase. Uh, it's, no, the in game ones are kind of goofy looking. You goofy looking. You goofy looking. You goofy something, bitch.
So Brandon, you never you never answered me. Uh, you what? never answered me. I said, how'd you enjoy your weekend off? Yeah, we can have your other weekend, I guess. So Aurora was down for a couple days, but... Yeah. Oh, yeah, because it ran out right after I left. Okay, I kind of had a hunch, but... I mean, yeah, it pulls it. <laughs> that's, that's what she said. <laughs> Not that I don't trust you, I just don't trust you. I'm just hatch. <laughs> oh, excuse me. Howdy, Rocky Top Productions, how are you? Four, five. Rocky Top. Four hundred, alright. How does this tractor already have 46 hours on it? Holy shit. It was bought used. Oh, and abused. See, it feels like it's struggling. Do we have a service thing here at the farm? Uh, I mm, did. Nodded? Okay. I don't have it. I'm not really... Not really clicking that they shouldn't do that. I wouldn't do that unless I was visiting my kids or something in my old school for reunion to visit teachers. I don't have kids. Yeah, it's... It's not even just that. It's people, like, showing up to somebody's house. I don't care how big of a fan you are. You don't just show up to somebody's house. It's so freaking awkward. But unless they invite you over. Unless they invite you over, I get it. But when you don't know the person and you just roll up to their house just because you're a fan, that's a that's weird. Right. Right, so that's what really are you doing weird. now? Who, me? Yeah. Fixing. I want to call that. I got to make it look pretty again. Yeah, what do you say? You know what you do every morning in the mirror. Do we, Do you think we'll ever need this for anything? What? The spit tractor. Uh. Uh, plowing maybe. What plows do we have? We don't have a plow. We we don't. Oh, but there's some in game. Well, okay. In the server. <laughs> I, uh, the plow requires four fit. Oh, yeah. Yeah, well, I thought Tony was going to do all that. Weren't you bitching him last time because he was doing it? Well, I mean, no, that's why I bought my desk. Uh... <laughs> There we go. That looks a whole heck of a lot better. Like that we, Magnum we it. does it. it. I believe yeah. so. Yeah, it does it. So, I mean, if we don't need if this, you, we can... If you want it, you might as well keep it. Well, that's that what means. I'm wondering, though. But if we don't need it, it's not going to use, then I don't see a purpose in keeping it. Well, I'm pretty sure I can be... Like, two tractors don't hurt. In case I'm doing something in... You need to do well, something. Well, I mean, we have that other one, too. The older one. Yeah, but you can't... You can't plow or cultivate with that. No. Exactly. I mean, we're good right now. Just keep it. And later, we're struggling for money, and uh, you don't want it? Sell it. I'm a bad influence. Hello, Christine. How are you? Exactly what I was going to say. I wouldn't roll up to someone's house unless I was invited. Exactly. I don't ah. even like go showing up when I am invited. <laughs> T 
Tony so we could use what he has also. Giggity. Oh, he meant tractors. Never mind. Eh. Nothing. Eh. We Caroline. I got that song stuck in my head because we were talking about when we were down there. We went to, they have a, a place down there called the island that has a water fountain there that's synced up to music. And nice. Sweet Caroline came on, and there was there was a group of people in the back that every time the they, Sweet Caroline, they just bah, bah, bah. That sounds right. <laughs> Brandon sent his ducks to check check on me down there. We're sitting there. Yeah, Brandon, you never replied to what I said you. Oh, what'd you tag him in? Oh, oh an admin. Yeah. Yeah, I saw that. Okay. Well, I didn't know what you want me to reply back at, so... I don't fucking... Oh, Something you gonna drink beer? Acknowledging it? <sighs> Brain gonna drink beer now? Oh, I doubt it. Hey, don't waste your money. Beer sucks. What? I told him don't waste his money. Beer sucks. Yeah, true. Worst thing I've ever put in my mouth. <laughs> really? <laughs> what were you saying? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we broke him. Boom, boom, Gross. Boom, oh, that's, boom, that's, boom, that's boom. the dead That's what she said. Boom, boom, sweet Caroline. Boom, boom, boom. So the the truck I I uh, sent a snap of the that work truck with the beefy tires on it. Uh, 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 okay. On Wednesday? I don't remember. Oh, okay. Well, anyway, there was two guys. The guy parked next to him was in a Crown Vic. And apparently they worked together or something. I don't know. I just, they were talking really, really loud, and I overheard most of their conversation. <laughs> but the guy that was driving the Crown Vic uh, works in a uh, home repair, I'm guessing. Like he bids on jobs, gotcha. and he said he bid he put in a bid for thirty different houses. Like a, a okay. bid for each of each house, so thirty different yeah. bids, and he went over his budget on every single one and didn't win one of them. Not. I was like, that sucks. It's hard to make money when you're an independent contractor. Especially but anyways, the freaking prices these days. Oh, yeah. Um. So after Tony plows and rock picks, or whoever, um, then we bring this disc, and it, it replaces the rolling, it makes it ready for a seed bed. What? <laughs> Are you so hearing you're... that too, Brandon? He kind of like like he's. I don't want to say stuttered, but stuttered. It's like he's uh, lagging and and the yes. his voice is skipping. Like yes. words. What? Like, have you ever watched a stream that that's lagging really bad and like yeah. it cuts out words, but then it's like words, 
Like it's all together. So <laughs> your oh, sentence was missing like words, but it was all together. It was really weird. That's really weird. All right, what about now? It's Sounds good now. now. All right. So after somebody plows, meaning Tony, after Tony plows and rocks pits, then this will come into play as it does. It replaces rolling, but uh, it gets a, like it does a seed bed thing. Gotcha. Yeah, that makes sense. Even though it did it again when you said re replaces rolling. rolling, it went re rolling. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> I, I don't know. That's, that's yo shit, dog. Really? It was just, it went re rolling. I was like, what? Good, you don't know. So, this morning, I dropped the youngest one off at the bu bus stop, and as I'm, you know, we're sitting there waiting for the bus to roll up, the, uh, as soon as the bus got closed, I could hear, like, it was from the fire station, because the fire station's right, right down the road, it, it sounded like they were just constantly honking their horns and chirping their sirens. And I was like, what the fuck are they doing? I mean, this went on for like a good five minutes. Mm -hmm. And then once, by the time I got over there, there was nothing going on. Nice. And I was like, what the fuck are they doing? What you hear is... Hell? Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, I just ran over a deer. Oh, dear. It's okay. Dinner time. Yeah. Barley does not get strong, correct? No. Okay. Uh. No, I, don't, um, a, I know granola doesn't. Yeah, no. Barley. barley does. Wheat, barley, and oat. Oh, yeah. Okay, I didn't know if barley had a straw or not. Yeah, it's I don't know so if he's advertising deal. someone's stream or not, but. We're gonna go ahead and just. I missed it. Time that out real quick. Oh. I don't know if he's advertising the stream or not. Hmm. I don't know. I think some kid shit in the Lazy River while we were down there, though. That's nice. It was the day after we got down there. They shut down the Lazy River. And they cleaned it out, and then <laughs> the next day, the water level is like super low. So that's, uh, that should be. And there was a bunch of kids down there, like right before they shut it down. So yeah, either kid puked or shit in the pool. That would make sense. They're probably just testing their horns and sirens for like five minutes, though. That's what I initially thought. Like they were having, like they were doing, like you know, I don't know what, like checks or something. But it went on for so long, and there was multiple going at one time. So it was not like they were doing them each individually. <laughs> it was just going. It was, they were going off. So I don't know. Maybe they're just having some fun. I did not like coming back and seeing that gas was four freaking forty here. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I, I paid three nine. It was three ninety nine four oh nine. The whole time I was down there. I come back. My my town was four forty. Within five days, it was up to four fifty nine. Yeah. I was like, you're freaking kidding me right now. <coughs> mm, excuse me. Oh, yes.
if anyone ever has a chance, I think there's there. She's got a, a few of them, but if, if they ever get a chance to go to it's like Paula Dean's kitchen or something like that, do yourself a favor and go. Oh. It's family style, so you sit down and you choose. They have three different options. You can get two meats, four sides, three meats, four sides, or four meats, four sides. And they have a bunch of different tray. Like we got fried chicken and ribs, and then they had a bunch of different sides, and it was it was all good. It was all yeah. good. Other than the green beans, the green beans were good at initially, but after they sat. For a few minutes, they got really cold and yeah. But worth going <sighs> if you're ever in some place that has one. Do yourself a favor and go, and then order because dessert comes with it. Dessert doesn't cost extra, so you get everybody gets free dessert. Well, not technically free because it's t- it's in the price yeah, of the meal, meal yeah, but it comes with your meal. Yeah, and. They, she makes these things called ooey gooey butter cakes. <sighs> so, so, it's like, it's what diabetes would taste like if it was a food. There might be some sprinkled in. That yeah, my my, uh, it was. Uh, <laughs> have you ever had one of them sugar sugar highs? <laughs> like <laughs> everything seems like brighter and you feel like your eyes gonna pop out of your head that's how I felt <laughs> I was like woo of course the, so uh, I was on the understanding that the the truck show didn't start until Friday but they were saying it was going on Thursday night which we already had planned Thursday night and then of course Friday it rained, so mm. a lot of them weren't out and about. They were yeah. kind of hunkered down, but there was two of them that was staying in the same building we were. That they had them parked up underneath the building. Like the Falling. no, it's a uh, they have under under the building parking. So oh. they have underground like, parking. Well, well, no, it's not technically underground. It's like on a it sits. It's weird. It sits on a hill, but there's enough room underneath that you could have parking on both sides but you can walk right out because that's like it walk you can walk right out to the river from the parking uh, the underground parking or the under building parking I don't know how you word it but they were tucked in underneath there from Georgia saw so many Goddamn geese mm. of every freaking shape and size. Geese and had little little gooselins, uh, geeselins or whatever they're called, and and then uh, they had like you know like the the toddler geese, and then they had like the preteen geese, and then like teenager geese, and then the adult geese. Like there was, they were all different shapes and sizes. It was like, damn, <laughs> Gary, wrap that thing. <laughs> of course, drove around the charger. Now yeah, I want one. Uh, I want you. one. It was that good. It was so smooth, so smooth. Uh, I hate you. And <laughs> so I was telling PJs this last night. Uh, it, I I've I newest car I've ever driven is is my car, which is a 2011. I've never driven anything newer than that. Yeah. So um, I've heard of heated seats, but I didn't know yes. they had cooling seats. Yeah. So nice. uh, when I hit the little, I was like, "Wait, that's a fan. Does that mean we have like cooling seats?" And then I hit it, and the little fan blew a blast of cold air around my ass crack. I fell in love at that point. I didn't. Even, I drove it for maybe <laughs> five minutes. As soon as I did, that, I was like, "Oh, I yep. want one." Yeah, we got heated seats, but no cold seats. Was that the RT or was that? I think it was the base model. Mm. To be honest with you, 
All wheel drive. I, I didn't even look into it, to be honest with you. I was just well, so happy. Most of them all wheel drive? No. No, they're, it varies between the model, whether they're rear wheel drive or all wheel drive. All wheel, yeah. I want one, but like with the amount of snow that we got here. No. Just get some nubby tires. <laughs> I'm telling you right now, the last thing we rent was that uh, Mitsubishi Outlander or something like that. That son of a bitch was struggling getting up them hills in Virginia. Like, yeah. not even like going up the side of the mountain. These were just like big hills. And then when we got to the mountains, that thing was like high revving. The- <laughs> trying to get up these goddamn. That Charger 80 didn't even have to like sp- like rev up to get up these things. Just <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, oh. <laughs> I hate you <laughs> so much. I was like, oh, I'm sitting there going. I just, I just, I was on the gas. I didn't even set the cruise control yet. I was just, I was on the gas. And I looked down. I'm doing 90. I was yeah. like, oh shit. I was like, well, I'm keeping up with traffic. So, the best part though, at night, everybody was kind of getting out of your way because they couldn't see the <laughs> tag. They just saw the headlights in the front end. Yeah. And it was like, oh, I'm gonna yeah, get over to the right true, lane. Though. Yeah. I... <sighs> Really debating back and forth. Here's the best part, though. We we pick it. So do you, the color was like a dark red. Yeah. And I was like, I, I told my wife when when we we start the journey, I was like, everybody's gonna be moving out of my way because and, and it's, are, they're either gonna slow down and do the speed limit or they're gonna just move out of my way. As because they're gonna think I, I'm a I'm a police car. And she goes, how many red police cars do you actually see? I shit you not. On the way back, they were doing a rolling roadblock in Virginia, <laughs> and it was yeah. the same exact color of the car I had, but it was a uh, it was a Ford Taurus. And That's he was crazy. doing he was <laughs> he was doing. I was like, oh, they don't make red police cars. Shut uh, up, Brandon. She just roll her eyes at you. No, I think she's upstairs. Or probably no. got slant for that one. <laughs> it was, I was like, see, I told you. The same exact color and everything. It's insane. Yeah. Pissed me off, though. Uh, on, the, on Pigeon Forge Fire Department's website, it says, oh, we have souvenir t-shirts for sale. You can buy them from any on-duty firefighter. Just just sh- feel free to stop by the fire station. So I hit the... I, I stopped by the fire station. And we pull up. There's so everything. This is this is the weirdest thing that I noticed this time going down there. Everything once you get in like Southern Virginia and down in Tennessee, they have everything together. Like the post office, the police department, the fire department. Everything's in yeah. a, one little complex. Yeah. So small towns usually do that. Well, th- not here. And even like mm. even like there was a one place to stop down there in Virginia. The Target every freaking store was in like a circle like it was a it was a big circle you had target walmart anything you could think of was in this circle oh. like they just weird. grouped everything together convenient but weird it was it blew my mind it was it was in half of it was like a mall too it was so weird anyway um even there's two of them like because there's one it was like a hey, giant sure. it was a giant parking lot on one side was walmart one side was target and they were part of like these huge shopping centers that went all the way the length of the 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 parking lot. It was weird. Anyway, was so I showed up and, and like we I went around this this building trying to figure out because you had the county clerk on one side, and then you go over to the other side, and it's public works. And then you go, you have to leave that parking lot and go into another parking lot. And that's the police department, and the fire department. So I walk up to the door that said Pigeon Forge Fire Department. Knocked on the or well. I saw the button here, like the police department. If you want to get in the police department, you hit the button. I didn't know until afterwards that is you're calling 911 when you hit that button. Oh um, no! So I call. I hit the button. He's like dispatcher. I was like, uh, yeah. I heard you had souvenir T-shirts for sale. He goes, oh, just knock on the door. <laughs> okay. So I knocked on the door. He heard me. I was like, oh, thank you again. He's like, no problem. And he, you can h- hear him h- hang up. Knocked on both doors like three or four times. No answer. 
My wife said there was you. there was a firefighter or someone in one of the trucks. Like the door was open, she could see him moving around in there. Never answered the door. So I Did left. You hear it or come back the next day. Knocked on both doors again. Didn't get an answer. So, but I think I they were out on a call that time because two of the bays were empty. Mm. I just want a damn T-shirt. Yeah. F450 has heated and cooling seats. I'll the cooling seats the nice. Baby, like, hey, oh. Well, that's the thing. So that they had everything fenced in, and they ha all, were all marked for authorized vehicles only. And the way their fire station set up is, they have a, a the the fencing that goes all the way around. Oh. Uh. And they have like a little cutout for a parking lot for where people can pull up there. But the fence goes from the gate all the way up to the building with a small little walkway. So I didn't want to walk over there when it says authorized vehicles only and get in any trouble. Uh, yeah, it's a little weird. Mm -hmm. He said it's, it's so it, it's so awkward here like compared to here where you can just yeah, roll over up to the fire place. station. Yeah, I mean, that's how ours is, obviously. I mean, we're fucking chilling. But like Gallen Gallenberg, that the one where the 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 red pickup truck was, that one's a little bit different. It's still the same setup. Like the so they have the we call it park and ride here. I don't know what's called down there. What it would be called anywhere around you guys? But basically, they have parking lot set up where you could um, park and then catch what they call a trolley down here. Here what they call it a dart bus, and it'll take you around the city for like you you can pay like a daily pass, and it'll take you to stops all along, throughout the city uh, so they have the park and ride the post office the public works the fire department and police department all right in that little little area and i was I literally i walked down and i saw i knew where the fire station was so I, that's where i went i went and took the picture of the tahoes and the um that Silverado and then the amulets came in by time I was heading back to the car but I walked down just a little bit and behind the fire station was where the police cars parked and then you had the police station and the post office were combined next to each other and then they had this little loop around <laughs> and that's where the public works were Jesus. and then to, to the right of that was where the park and ride is <laughs> it's all yeah, on that little close. section yeah It's just, it's weird. But <laughs> the picture I posted of the Pigeon Forge uh, Explorer, my wife took it as I was driving. I was wondering, I was like, eh. I zoomed in, like, because it was, it was that distance, so I, I cropped it and zoomed in on it. He's just staring right at the camera, so he's staring at her take this picture. So that's why I had to blur his like blur his face out, because he is looking dead ass right at the freaking camera. Right. Probably like, what the fuck are they doing? He's random ass motherfuckers doing. It's an unmarked charger going by taking pictures uh. of me. Is that uh internal affairs? Like, should I be worried? I guess I should probably be doing something uh, instead of unloading this thing and loading that up. I mean, yeah. Harvesting is still what to do. I can do that, feller. You so, a little bit to help you. <laughs> I've, I've been looking into it uh, oh. since I've been home. Dream die. No. Still up for me. Oh, okay. There it goes. He just went like went to a black screen on a loading. And then... What's up now? It's good. Gucci. Anyway, so I've been looking into it, and the 2021, so what what we had charger, is the same exact thing as the 2016. Just 
the head unit's a little bit different on it. The screen's smaller and it has actual buttons on the side, whereas I think it's like 2018 and up, it's all touchscreen. So, like, gas mileage, everything, the interior, yeah. exactly the same. So, I might look into getting. I think touch an might one. be a little bit better. I have touch screen on my 14, and it's nice. Well, yeah, because you're going to have all the options and everything to it. Yeah. Yeah, but also, what's the, I guess, chance of it going bad, but realistically, is it cheaper to replace a button than a. I could probably get the 2016 and just get a head unit from the probably the from a newer one and put it in there. Do you look at them? See what the difference is. Ah, I've been I looking. Difference. I've been looking at them the past two days. Oh, well, I mean, from the 16 to the 21. They're identical. Same gas mileage. Same engines. The interior is exactly the same. Every inch of that car is exactly the same, with the exception of the head unit. What are prices looking like for you? Um, I've seen them as low as 18. That sounds for the 16 right. or 21? 16. For the 16s. Yeah. I haven't even looked at the price of 21. I've looked up to 2018. I'll say 2018 I, I is getting like the 20, 26, yeah. I think. See, that's the same as a fucking... Uh, I don't know what I want. Uh. Are you looking at the RT, right? I don't know if I want an RT or a Hellcat. Scat patch. I don't know what I want. <laughs> he said scat. Hey, yeah, scat that means poop. Twenty one. <laughs> it's about forty. I don't want a twenty one. I don't want something brand new. I would do. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I'm not going to go with twenty one unless yeah. it's like There's five no years down the road. Yeah. <laughs> There's no point. Everything's the same. So. Yeah. Everything. Like I said, the I looked into it. The 2016, same gas mileage, everything. Everything, every inch of that vehicle is identical, with the exception of the, I guess they call it the infotainment center. Yeah, that's what it's called. The screen's a little bit smaller, and it has yeah. actual buttons on the side instead of it all being touchscreen. The only thing I would lose is the height that I have now going down because I'm not used to that car deal. So. Yeah. But I will say this, that th that freaking seat adjusts so goddamn much. Mm -hmm. Like, I got in it, and of course it was this, this short woman that, I, you know, did all everything. And I got in, and I got, the, of course I got the seat moved back. I hadn't fiddled around with it enough until I got, you know, like going down the road. But when yeah. I got in, my head was touching the ceiling. I was like, this oh, yeah, is... You can go down and yeah, I was like, well, this this has got to change. This is, this is I can't do this. I'm going to be hitting my head at every single bump we get. So I, I start playing around with the switches, which there was like, I think four different switches on the, on the side. And I was like, and by the time I was done, I was sitting like on the floor. This thing went down so low. Yeah. Well, yeah, my Explorer, I can, I can go pretty low. I have mine set to where I'm not looking straight at the back of my visor lights but down and up to where I'm not sitting on the floor. I like to see what's in front of boat because boat. Yeah, I think it was like driving a boat compared to my car. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, yeah. That, some bitch in reverse cut the wheel all the way to the right. <laughs> and I was like, God, this thing's got a wide turn. This isn't no goddamn crown vet. Come on now. <laughs> I thought my truck was big though. Jesus Christ. Yeah, that thing's got room, don't it? Mm hmm. You can put yeah. two bodies in the back of that one. Well, that's how they do the rollout things, like the uh, the storage. I didn't even think about cabinets. that. Cabinets. Yep. Yeah, I, so we had uh, the kids packed each a duffel bag, and then we had a big ass suitcase, and still had room. <laughs> like, yeah. Like for. The, the oldest one to lay down in between the suitcase and the back yeah. of the... like it, There was a shit ton of room in there. Yeah. They're for sure nice. I just... It was pretty... It was a hell of a good old gas, too. I'll say that much. At one point, I think I had it up to 500 miles per gallon. Then I got... Fucking... Fucking Google Maps, man. Google Maps... 
so there was a there was an accident on the uh, on the interstate. So it's yeah. like you can save four minutes by taking this alternative route. And I was like, all right, fine. You know, four minutes. You know, it's not a huge deal, but I'll take it anyway. I I hit yes. It rerouted me. Don't. It took me down right in front of the goddamn Capitol building in Washington D.C. Yeah. Hit every fucking stoplight on along the way. I was like, yeah. save four minutes, my ass. This is added oh, like a half I hour mean. to this trip. I've what's learned up, Sean, driving you, and what's uh, up, Frank, from multiple you? towns, like, hours and hours away, uh, to not accept it when it asks that, uh, yeah. because it takes you backwards. Yeah, <laughs> so it did the same thing on the way home, where, where we got DC, it's like, there's an accident up here on the shoulder. You can save 14 minutes by taking this alternate route. I was like, uh, no, not yeah. this time. No. Yeah, no. Uh, my I'll hour, sit and stop and go trip. traffic. My three-hour trip when I was working I'm was supposed pretty to be, good, John. My trip was supposed to be a three-hour trip. It ended up being a five-hour trip. I was like, what the fuck? Yeah. Did no. you see what they're pushing for an eco mode? And take you on a less busy track, less busy roads? Where, so, oh, anyway, did you try the modes? Modes? Oh, you didn't know? No. Oh, Different modes that the Charger have? Yes. Got sport, sport. Look, I didn't know what I was getting until I, I picked it up, and we we picked it up. Literally drove, dropped my car off. My wife drove yeah. my car to my dad's. I picked her Where up, were you supposed and to we get? hit the road. Like before, uh, it said, it's I reserved a full size car, which said Chevy Malibu or similar. Which I looked up huh. like their thing, and I think Charger was on there, but not for 2020, uh, 2020 two it's got a bad so yeah but literally i picked it up like I, we pulled up and there was a hyundai elantra which is smaller than my car sitting there and i was <laughs> like i really hope it's not the hyundai elantra because it has less trunk space than what my car has and we already had my car's trunk loaded down so i told i told him i was like i really hope that's not the case because we're not going to make it we're going to have to go back home and pack later and then I get up there and I'm I'm nervous because I I would just know she's gonna tell me a Honda Elantra and she's like we got a Dodge Charger for you, I was like a Dodge Charger, <laughs> she goes yeah Dodge Charger, <laughs> I was like Whew, okay, she goes <laughs> she goes is that is that okay I was like yeah I thought you were gonna put me in that Honda Elantra sitting out there, and I was like definitely wouldn't have enough trunk space she's like you're gonna have plenty of trunk space in this thing. Yeah. And when we go out there, she pops the trunk. I was like, "You weren't kidding." Yeah, yeah. No, there's like sport race. Well, if it's a base model, it might not have all those. But hey, Goob, I actually live in the Midwest. I'm going the hiking and it takes. Oh, so you yeah, use it for know, hiking? I would have said something if you were in that Honda. Yeah. Reveal. Well, we went. Uh, we had to go to Milford the day before, and. I was like, we'll drive by there, see if, if what what's sitting out there. Maybe maybe the one we're gonna get sitting out there. Drove by, and the only sedan that was sitting out there was a BMW. I was like, eh. I don't. I'm I might want a, a boost up moron wagon for a week, maybe. <laughs> and then we pull up. Our Enterprise, like it's changing daily on what they have. Like it's crazy. Oh yeah, same same with this one. So, like PJs lives in like the city world and he doesn't understand how it works in the small town here but here yeah, no. they get a they literally they get a car in just for you and that's the car you get whereas he's used to going to airports and getting to pick what car yeah, he, he no. gets to drive not here they order a car for you that's the car you get no if yeah whatever they, buts. yeah whatever they have on the lot side oh this is close to what you have here, oh you know? gotcha frank yeah no what mom right there the Avalanche got red. Did we ended up with a Dodge Ram, fifteen hundred? Oh, the, newer the, one. the car of Amber Turd. Yeah, that's what she's rolling on. I've and seen that. Try to say the poop was from the dog. Yeah, Justice like, for Boo. We know the dog didn't poop in the bed. I hate. How she looks at the crowd every time she answers a question. Hate or not the crowd, the jury. The jury yeah. Hate it. Hate it. I'm like, oh my god, stop it. 
turns did, her head. Uh, I don't recall. It's like, I'm gonna fucking punch you in the throat and then the eyeball. That'll did, be a mess in charge for you. Did you watch the the whole uh, his team when her her lawyer went to cross and uh, literally objection 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 yes yeah. just everything just, and one of them yep. she was like objection uh the, the, no Johnny's lawyer was like objection oh, yeah. uh leading uh yeah, something else and then she's like i'm not even quite sure what she's trying to ask <laughs> and then the she, judge called her up she was like all right you gotta you gotta relax on the objections <laughs> it's like what but she won what was it like 23 out of the 26 that she called yeah <laughs> and then finally amber's lawyer was like i don't have any other she's questions like, and just yeah, walks she's away she's flipping through the pages i don't have any other questions <laughs> Just and then walks she away. And goes, I'm trying, I'm trying. It's like, oh shit, lady. Yeah, did you see Johnny Depp's lawyer when, when she said, I'm trying? She turns and looks at her like, who the hell are you talking to? Yeah. I, I was. I was objection. That's the same exact question. <laughs> <laughs> we watched it. We watched the live stream of it. God, yeah, I haven't watched. I I've caught small snippets of the live streams, but well, they they uh, um, deposed his Johnny Depp's former lawyer, and literally every single question that she asked in that in that deposition, Johnny Depp's lawyer like I would advise you not to answer that question because on terms that it would uh, break. Uh, Client uh, confidentiality or whatever it's called, mm. and he like he's like I'll take that advisement like every single question. I was like I understand what they're trying to do here. Like they're trying to put that little seed of doubt, like that. Yeah, Johnny had something to do with the news getting out there and everything. Yeah, I understand what they're doing. But if I was a juror and I'm sitting there and having to listen to this for a half an hour. It's only going to piss me off. Like, I understand what, why they're trying to do it, but after, like, 15 minutes of the same thing over and over again, she was at, literally asking the same question over and over again. Just yeah, reword no. it. And he kept, he kept saying, I would advise you not to answer that question. So for a half hour, these jurors had to sit there and watch this. And I was like, it would just piss me off. I would just... I, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't care if... Johnny Depp did it or like defamed her or not. He was getting he was getting my vote. Yeah, no, for sure. As soon as you walk in there, it's like, oh, this is this case? Fucking Johnny, bud. Have you seen the difference between them walking in? Like, walking in? Yes. Like, she walks in and just like silence, not every nothing. The guys look away like her team's is like, eh. And then Johnny Depp walks in, the whole, everybody in the gallery standing up, waving yeah, at him. Yeah, smiling, <laughs> waving. Fucking good. Did you watch, uh, after she, uh, the, her lawyer said, I don't have any further questions. She, I know, that was the last thing I seen from that. The jury was still in the courtroom. She got up off the stand, and, like, you could see the deputy, like, come from the back of the gallery trying to keep her because she walked right right in front of the damn jury mm. and so you see this the deputy come charging through trying to like intercept her she walks right right down before the jury even got dismissed she just walks right past her team out the door not a word <laughs> Fuck. yeah you gotta watch like she she legitimately just walks right past her team out the door before the jury is even dismissed she just boom gone and then when she, she turns around to like close the door you could see a, a look on her face like she's about to start crying because she knows she just lost because of that <laughs> on Amber's face or the lawyers uh, Amber's face nice uh, one channel I've been watching that does like highlights he he like slow, super slowed mode it and you see her face turn around and like you know that face people make when they're about to cry yeah. like Oh, yeah. Their face balls up. Squinted. Yeah. yeah, she did that. It looks like she was turned around and like, slammed the door shut. Oh, yeah. 
It's like, ooh. <laughs> Realistically. I should say, how many more days of this trial do they have? It was they supposed to end next weekend. Yeah, it was supposed to end Thursday. It was supposed to end on the 19th, but. Uh, um, judge was out of town. They, well, they extended it a week also because for more evidence and yeah. witnesses. So they're, they're saying that the, the jury will have. Uh, will be out for um, the 27th, I believe. So, another week. Yeah, it'll be done before Memorial. That's and what the, the judge promised the jury, that she, she would have it so they can they can yeah. vote on it before Memorial Day. Do you think that he's a witness? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> if it, I would say, why not? I, I would say he's got, like, the, the difference between their teams are night and day. Like, his team is calm, cool, collected. They're having a party. He's they got snacks and shit. Team. Like, <laughs> they're yeah, just... They're they just keep walking about with little candies and snacks. Oh, yeah. Like, they, they they show up, and the first thing his main lawyer does is pull out a bowl and just dumps candy in it. Like, they are having... They're just they're just chilling. And when... They're, they're little notes and shit going back and forth. When, uh... When, like, when her lawyer was... was questioning her like every single one of them was just kind of laid back snacking and you know johnny's drawling doodling yeah the only one that was was really like paying attention to what was going on was the one that kept uh, objecting you could see her yep. she just had her finger over the mic button just ready yeah but she was on. <laughs> every single that one was, of them was, was like job. like we don't have to do anything because this woman is losing her own case so yeah it's like a just a layup for us. For real. You give up on your uh, Tahoe, sir? You don't want a Tahoe anymore? You want a Charger? No, I really would like a Tahoe, but not with gas being almost $5 a gallon. Oh, okay. I've seen a couple 20, 20s for 41000 Yeah, 41000 No, thank you. Yeah. Oh, I'll pass on that. 2019 F-150 Raptor. going to be... I'm pretty sure I was thinking of a Raptor. It's a nice truck. 2019 Dodge Charger no. 57 V8 ME police all wheel drive Bluetooth backup camera. That's what the car. 9, I think that's what the car had. The 20, the one I had was a 57. Probably. That's what uh, mine. No, mine's a five. Really? Mine's a two liter. Would it be better to buy a police style vehicle or buy? Like a it's gonna be cheaper, but it's gonna be beat the fuck up out of because it's not the car. Yeah, but those cars are are built like, especially when it comes to Tahoes, they're built to be beat. So yeah, I mean there is a police package, so yeah, buckets. and you get like you you get a little bit more heavy duty parts on it from what the guy like I can't remember his damn name, but he goes around to all, like all the the Del Dot or the Del Dot. Holy shit! I'm gonna send this to you. The Delaware you State Auction. Oh, they're on like we're real Go ahead. But he goes to all the Delaware State Auctions and he bought a Tahoe and he was explaining the difference between that Tahoe and like the one you'd buy off of it. And he was going through how the it's it's the SSV something support vehicle or something like that. They don't. Ag Delaware doesn't actually use the PPVs; they use the SSVs. I think that's what it's called. Okay. Anyway, but he was yeah, explaining ones like are lifted ones or not. Yeah, he was explaining that the uh, I can't remember what he was saying, but basically the parts are a little bit more heavy duty because they're designed to just be beat and misused and yeah. you know, like compared to where you know. Us everyday people will take a little bit better care of our car. My only thing is, I used to want a police, like a PPV vehicle, but after like, if I had to choose between the charge, because what they do is they take the your um, shifter out of the center and they leave that yes. hole there, and then they move the shifter to the column, so you have oh, this please. big. Yeah, you have this yeah. big gap there where where it should be. 
which it's usually covered up in a police car, whereas if you're driving it, it's not going to be covered up unless you want to put, like, a fucking laptop in your car or something. Well, you can probably buy... Well, they sell chargers in automatic, so you can probably buy the plate to cover it. Right. No, it's, like, it's your... They, it's all automatic, my guy, but, like, the yeah. shifter itself... Yeah, they move is, the shifter to the column. Metal. Well, yeah, but... Oh, okay. It's, so it's still automatic. A with a column shift. It's only the police version that The police it. version, yeah. And I yeah. think it might, like... Because even the police version, they still have the option for the shifter. I think they move it. Correct. Like, the one I just sent. Whoever here, built, yeah, builds builds the car, it. like, they get it from the factory with the stock shifter, and then... They, yeah, whoever builds the car, moves moves the shifter to the column. Yeah. I just sent one of those pretty clean. We might have to take a trip to Chicago. Shy town. The windy city. Wait, where'd you send? Uh, oh, oh. Honor. I looked at that one. <laughs> I was <missed> that <laughs> too. That's the that, that's exactly where I saw what I was talking about. Yeah. Yep. That's not a three six in it. That's not the five. Oh, it's rear wheel drive. What? It says all wheel drive in the title. What the fuck? Oh. And the best part. Again, keep in mind, I've never driven a vehicle. Newer than 2011 was uh, you hit the button twice and, and it starts automatically. That is cool. My 14 doesn't even do that. I was telling the whole, whole salty. Yeah, that was that was awesome. I just oh yeah. I was like, <laughs> my wife was like, where did we park? I was like, hold on. And I hit the button twice and he heard. Jesus. <laughs> I was like, that's us over there. <laughs> How do I back to Avenue and I? And the coolest part is it, like, you hit it and it disables everything in the vehicle. Like the engine runs, but disables everything in the vehicle, so you can't. Someone can't like hop in it and take off. You have yeah, to get in and hit the. Yeah, you have to get in and hit the button. I thought that was pretty. Was cool. it, that one was a push button to start. Yeah. Gotcha. So you get you, you hit the button twice. It's it auto starts and then you got again. You hit the button and then everything like like it's starting up, but it's already running. Control tab. Yeah, that's what I'm hitting. No, it wasn't. <sighs> the brakes were a lot tighter though. <laughs> My God. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, it, I drove the car to my dad's. And my wife drove our car, and the and the kids were riding with her. And I got out to the first stoplight. I went to hit the brakes like I do on my car. I was like, "Oh shit!" <laughs> <laughs> my gut did not like the seatbelt that time. Today, you bitch. Oh, it's because I was playing State of Decay 2. Oh my god. It is, it's so addicting. I, I downloaded it last night. Me and PJ started playing it at the same exact time at like 10. Yeah. And I've already got 8 hours of the game. Oh my god. It's free See, to play. play yeah. It's free to play this weekend. It's like 67% off. It's only, it's, it's originally 30 bucks. It's only 9, like 89 right now. Hmm. I'm about buying it. This is really good. It's like, it's what I th I wish miscreate it was. <laughs> Damn, bring up that game. You go around and you loot stuff, and then you have to like supply things. And meanwhile, yeah. you're running from zombies. You get to drive around cars. I got me a got me a fucking county plow truck. It, it's just a pickup truck, but it's got a plow on the front that you can just drive around plowing zombies down. And I got a military truck, and I had to get rid of my park ranger vehicle. I, I, I had park ranger vehicle. I was waiting for PJs to oh, play shit. again. So yeah. he comes in and be like, you got a park ranger vehicle already? 
and uh, but I had to leave it somewhere because I had to pick up one guy's aunt Jeep. Oh, <gasps> yeah, please yeah. be all blue lights. Christmas. Please be all blue lights. If so, I'll just go buy those right now. With what money? They'll do payment. They'll do payment. Oh, it's got scratches all over that motherfucker. Yeah, that's the other problem with buying a police vehicle. Holy shit. Just final wrap it. Then you have any color you want. Final wrap it. Yeah, that's a big thing anymore. Four grand, three to four grand, depends on which colors and design you want. Boom, you got that's a brand new paint job. My favorite planner? I like the DB uh, uh, 9120. Hell, you could probably have a John Deere logo all over it if you wanted. Hydro dip the wheels yellow. He wants you to. He wants you to get a charger. Oh, it's all blue lights. He wants you to get a charger and wrap it in John Deere, so he can oh, send it to Millennial Farmer and be like, "Check out this charger. It's all John Deere." Oh, I'd have to rip out the siren. You don't understand how tempting this is. I know how tempting how it is. How far is it? You do not remember that they. They had that, that, that Tahoe that had all blue yeah. lights on it, and I was trying to convince you to go halvesies with me, and then I'd just <laughs> give you all the lights out of it. <laughs> You're not that far from Chicago? No. How, like... A few hours. Time line. Oh, yeah. Is Kitty Cat showing up tonight? Uh, he know. didn't say, but he he got it. Oh my god, it's blue. <laughs> it's got side runners on. Oh god. Yeah. <laughs> I could see you rolling up to the scene in that. And getting yourself in trouble with the police. I would have to, no, no, I wouldn't get in trouble. Just have to pull the siren out. Could you have a siren shown but deactivate it? Pull the wire in? Uh, I mean, yeah, probably. It's just, if it doesn't do anything, it's just a box. Oh, sorry. It's a speaker. Yeah. What's up, Steve? How you doing, man? Oh, can, I was gonna say, can't you hook it up to the CB and then have it just as a megaphone? That'd be interesting, but yeah. <laughs> Move out the way, bitch. <laughs> you, can you imagine Tyler with a fucking intercom? Jump tail! Jump tail! <laughs> God, move all over to the right. What are you doing? You piece of shit. Chop down. Chop down. That's good to hear, Steve. I would like a white one, though. Or a bright red. I don't... Eh. Hey, I don't like the bright red. I've seen a couple of them, and that and the challenge. I don't, I'm not a huge fan of the bright red. Yeah. Uh, I hate Anything white. but white. And I hate I hate dark colors because water spots. That that's yes. the most annoying part. Yep. Is the water that's spots on dark ones. Is. But I hate white, like because then well, everything shows up on it. Yes, but that's what color our day police are. So everybody would just move out of the way. Uh, I was just like gunmetal gray here. Yeah. And they move over, and then you pull up the next film at a red light, and they turn around and see your goofy ass looking they at them. They see the fire plate on the back of the light. Oh, yeah, never mind. Wait. You have a fire plate on the back of your vehicle? Yeah. So what is it, like, your your license plate has a marking that you're part of the fire department? Yeah, so I mean, if you want. You don't have to, but yeah, mine's a volunteer plate. Oh, okay. I think that's how they are here too. Well, I've seen some of them like that, but mostly here, like most of them have uh, just a, a plastic tag that has the fire company's uh, uh, name on it, like in designs. Yeah, that's how they, that, they mark I do that them. On the front. Yeah, they do that. On the I front think they don't. Too. Yeah, that's what they do on the front here. But the back tag is just a normal Delaware state tag. But uh, eighteen thousand dollars. I Only think they've, they've done away with the blue 71, lights in my town because every time I see them respond, they just have like a couple of white flashing on the dash. Yeah, that's weird. Yep. But the guy, 
the guy over in Milford, he's got a all black Caprice, completely blacked out, and he's got fucking visor lights, dash lights. He's got a back like the bar that goes across the bottom of the back window, plus the ones up at the top of window. It's like Jesus Christ, dude. Yeah, that would me be me just to go all flash and don't give a shit. It's terrible at night, though. Is West by know, Wisconsin for, for I like that Dodge I Phoenix doubt it. A long time uh, gone. Instagram. Instagram. What's up, dear man? How are you? man. Uh, the what? That black Dodge you shared. I think it was on Instagram. That was all orange and red flashing lights. That's important. Orange and red flashing lights. Yeah, I thought you shared it on Instagram a long time ago. Oh. I shared a Dodge Charger that was orange and red. No, Dodge like, Ram. Oh, or Dodge Ram. Oh, red, uh, amber and red lights it was a Del Dot vehicle. I don't know. I just saw the black black truck and the lights. That's all oh, I saw. Oh, black truck. It's a dark color, I should say. It was in. It was dark. It was nighttime, so I couldn't tell. Oh, it came from Wisconsin. Yeah, uh, you sure it was? You sure it wasn't blue and amber? Cause that's how uh, it was an amber for sure. But I, I'm pretty sure that was a fire police. I gotta find this now. Because somehow I knew you posted. I think you tagged me in it. But... See, I don't know if I'd wanna. Oh, what they want. I don't know. It was before See, it the patch. Before the patch? It would just be so much better. I think before I sent the patch, I think it was before then. It was on I was on my feeding center one or my emergency one? <laughs> I thought it was a Phoenix feather one. Oh, I know what you're talking about. That was a long, long time ago. Well, if I tagged you in it, it would be under your tag post on Instagram. Easy. I have to make a quick departure. It's only 9.30. I'm thinking you might have to go to the bathroom. I mean, yeah. Uh, I don't know where he left off in chat, but I'll start from can I join. If you download, join the Discord, download mod, and join. Uh, what is your favorite planter? Can't answer that one. Yeah. But, uh, if it ain't blue, it's a piece of poo. That's it. What's going on, dear man? Uh, is the West by Wisconsin port? Maybe he's familiar with the map. Not. Is anybody here to play Xbox One? We're definitely on PC. Uh, maybe somebody in the chat.
Uh, honestly, you can look. Um, if it's not in the mod download, like for your Xbox, it's definitely not then. Uh, but if it is, then it clearly is. Um, is that is that your water? Yeah, no, I'm not shy. I've never heard of the map, so I'm honestly not sure. Ah, uh, you don't have online, then that, uh, yeah, that would be an issue. For sure. You shouldn't have to have online to download stuff. I wouldn't think. And again, I don't know, because... PC or Prime Sims only ever been on PC. Recently they changed over, which doesn't make any sense, but whatever works for them. Is this guy really gonna sit? Oh, fuck. This is sick. Hey, kitty What's up? Meow. Indeed. So, how was your flight? You went somewhere? I didn't go anywhere. From your stream last night? Oh, uh, uh oh. Yeah, the flight was fine. Oh. Nothing exciting. <laughs> Fucking weird. <laughs> Starting to get the hang of it. Kind of. Why? Well, yeah, I, yeah, I, mean, I got you, bro. That makes sense, I guess. I just said I'm unfamiliar with the way the Xbox and console world work, so. Yeah, no, I'm. I guess I get up. How about a times four? West by Wisconsin is. I'm gonna assume none. Uh, I also don't see any comments saying that it is or isn't, so it's hard to tell. It's a PC only mod. It's a PC only there, Frank. Shoot for sure, man. 
why PC Obviously it's always better on PC just because the amount of mods we're able to get is like I said, like Farm Sim was made for PC. That's how it started out in 2009. 2009, so. V is for all fun. So what do you mean? Upper Miss River Valley. I have no idea. Um, that does sound familiar, so maybe. Uh, What's the question? The uh, upper Mississippi River Valley map. Oh, uh, for console? Yeah, as a console, do you know? I doubt it. Could be wrong. I bet I doubt it. I don't know if Giants says put that on their web page or not. Hello? Uh oh. What? Okay, no, I just froze. It's okay. Do you want me to save real quick? Oh, I'm losing it. Yeah, you're a robot. Yep. Alright, we should be okay. You know, it's coming. So, yeah. There you go. I, if it's not out yet, it, yeah, like you said, it should be. Cause I, that does sound familiar, so I think... Maybe. Just keep an eye on Giant's website. I mean, that's the best way to do it for anything that's going to be on console. Not even on the website. I mean... Just woo! when you open the game, I mean, don't you have to... Download thing. No, when you open the game, do the download thing. Well, I don't say it would have to go to Giant's before it goes to console, is what I'm saying. What? That's that's when you're on the download Well, screen, yes, I forgot Giant's had an in-game mod. Yeah, that's how Constance did their mods. What are we talking about? Consoles and mods and how it's better on PC, so... Yeah... Oh dear lord. Oh, PJ's here. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Hey, bud. Hey. Hey, so I got eight hours in that game already. Do you really? Yeah. You just playing, playing it all day today. Oh, <laughs> playing off all day today. Damn. I've got a... I've, I've already got to the next base. Uh, I've got a park ranger vehicle. Well, I had a park ranger vehicle, but uh, I had to. I lost it when I got the, the jeep. I got a uh, county plow truck, pickup truck with a plow. You can plow the freaking uh, plow the freaking zombies over with, and then I got a uh, army pickup truck for it. Damn. Yep. Also got a Tommy gun. That thing is so OP. I, I, I encountered a horde. I just mowed them all down. <laughs> oh yeah, definitely with a Tommy gun. Jeez. I was like, so how did off my little friend? <laughs> Don't you start in like an uh, abandoned hotel room or an office building? That's the old one. Okay, because I remember playing that. Starting a hotel. You played a scary game. That's not really a scary game. Oh. That's why you played it. Spooky, scary zombies. No, it's really fun. I, I'm, I'm enjoying it. Is it still on sale or not anymore? Yeah, it's, it's free this weekend, free to play this weekend, and then it's currently sixty-seven percent off. So it's originally thirty. I think it's like nine eight eighty-nine right now, 
which I'm probably going to end up getting it because I was going to ask. Yeah, I am having a field day with it. Might as well pay the nine then instead of the thirty. Yeah, that's exactly that's what I was, I was saying. That's what that's why I was playing it so much today. Like I wanted to see if if, if it's worth picking up. I'd play it for a How while. How long? And then I found myself eight hours deep into the game. Right. How long is the story mode? Um, I'm eight hours in, and I'm j- I just got to the second base, and I'm trying to get the stuff to unlock everything at the base. So, mm. and, but I've been doing a lot of the side missions and everything. That's 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 the only annoying part I found so far. Like, because once you get to a certain point, so you remember when we were running around that one room? Yeah, and there was just people running around, and you couldn't talk to them, and they weren't saying anything. They're just yeah. So. You gotta get to a certain point where you actually go to help them. Oh. And then like and then you can, can trade with them. them and everything. Yeah. And then so um you can trade with them and then the more you help them out, the lower the the stuff costs and you can even recruit them to join your group and all that all this other stuff. But um the annoying part is they're spread out across the map. Even parts you haven't been to, they'll call for help. And if you don't get there to help them in time, they get pissed off. It's like, people, so I have two have missions like going this doing. way. I'm not going to go all the way to the other side of the map to help you. I'm sorry. And if you, so if you don't get there in time, will you ever have an opportunity, like, again to help them? Yeah, or is it, like, it a depends. One thing? It depends. So, like, I've missed a couple and they've, they've, hung around and but there's one i miss i i was doing an, i was in the middle of another mission i couldn't abandon if i changed characters mm-hmm. they would abandon the mission so i was like uh you're you're gonna have to wait and i didn't get to them in time and they just straight up left the town <laughs> they're like we're packing up and leaving and then your character's like oh well i really should have helped them gotcha that's kind of frustrating yeah, like I said, that's the only annoying part I've found so far. What's 42? What's all that down there? Oh, we got soybeans and cotton down there. We got corn 42. left to do, I think, too. It's growing. Well, we got harvesting. Yeah, you gotta finish yeah. harvesting. Corn's right. growing right now. Grab my harvester if you want, PJs. I'm in the field doing uh, disting. Cool. Uh, we have 42 and 46, which are soybeans. 47 and 43 are cotton. Why is it not loading? There we go. 45 is sugar beets. So I can just rent one to do that one real quick. Corn in 5 is not done yet. There's one more. It's like 26, I think it's done. 26? Field. Yeah. Oh, wait, no, that's sunflower. It's not corn. Yeah, we have huh? corn up in 26. Yeah. Five is sunflower. Um, oh, you went with that for silage, though, didn't you? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Because we'll need that again, yeah. And whatever I need for pigs, I need to look. Everything. <laughs> this is yeah, barley, pigs, is it not? No, pigs are, like, the most intense. I think what? you gotta have potatoes, you have the maybe potatoes, sugar beets. Potatoes or sugar beets, and you have to have corn what? or sunflower, and then something like that. For real? Yeah. You don't remember Dalton doing it? No. Yeah, Dalton used to do it, and you had you had to have one. One of everything, basically. Yeah, you had, you mm-hmm. had to have uh, wheat or barley, potatoes or sugar beets, and. Uh, what the fuck? Corn or sunflower, and then you had to mix it. That doesn't make like any cows. sense. Maybe I'm not gonna do pigs. That's why I said when you said I'm gonna do pigs, like, are you sure you wanna do pigs? Well, because they make poo poo, but like the food is gonna be corn, wheat, barley, canola, so sunflower, soybean, potatoes, sorghum, and sugar beets. Not all of them. You have to pick one or the other for them or something like that. Right. I don't know. I never did pigs. I always did cattle or sheep. I thought it was like you don't have to use everything. 
but yeah, I thought you like the best one. blend, but the best blend. Yeah. It'd be like TMR rations for cattle. It's the best food, but you can do other alternatives. Yeah, yeah you you have you could you could choose certain ones of them mixed together to make the food. Mm. Cause Dalton, right, Tony, do since it. you're listening, and I'm caught up to you, so I'm waiting on you to rock pick. His freaking mic's still doing the same thing. Rock pick? Really? He's having storms, Phoenix, so... Oh. I'm not having storms. Well, you said earlier that you're having storms, and you were nope. robot and robot. Nope, didn't say that at all. Well, you were robot and robot earlier, so... That doesn't mean I'm having storms. I thought he said storms, okay then. Not until tomorrow. How you doing up there, buddy? Me. Ah. Hey, I'm getting by. <laughs> There's no zombies in this one, so my head's a little too big for this. We're just gonna monster jam over these cars. Grave digger! Oh, that didn't work. I'm just creating a lot of traffic for you to get pissed off at later. Yeah, yeah, I'm I'm right behind you, so this is already pretty annoying. <laughs> it was all fine. I had it all fine when I was streaming, and you people joined, then you messed it all up. Well, somebody was like, "I uh, put my corn header on your trailer and take it back to the farm." Yeah, it's bad. It's sitting there. Yeah, well, it's not here. Not here, where? Oh, bitch. It's a farm. I. See, I really wish sheep would produce poop. Like, how the fuck do they not? Well, they don't collect the like area. They don't produce poop then, jackass. <laughs> what the fuck? I mean, cow, you locate them in a certain area, feed them, and milk them. Sheep, you just let them free range. Pigs, you have a certain area to feed them. Because, yeah, she never don't have a area that they shit in. Sheep don't have an area that they shit in. Well, I'm just saying, sheep is mostly in pastures. Pigs and cattle are in, in this. A barn. The the way, guy. This, is, this is the dumbest road ever. Oh, by the way, whichever one of you, uh, I'm, not, I'm talking to the stream, or if, if one of you, whichever one of you beautiful bastards bought $33 worth of coldest stuff, you a real one. No one said it was them. Someone bought $33 worth of coldest stuff. Not me. What is that? The coldest water bottle of my day. Oh. I'm working with them again. It's only the world's greatest water bottle. Yeah, yeah come on. You should know this if you want one to go. Okay, I have one right here full of water. Guy. <laughs> okay, here's a question, Phoenix, since you're... <laughs> really? I guess there's a parade going down the main street. It's a parade! It's a Macy's Day. This is the... Okay, this, this is, is my... Uh, uh, my uh, balloon. Uh, what the fuck is it called? Balloon, yeah. Yeah. Alright, you should go now. Well, no, because I got another car coming here, so... Oh, well, just take it out, please. Trailer. Yeah, the trailer's all the way back to the farm. <laughs> now, they say that they have a coldest water bottle. What do they do for the lids? Oh, my lord. What? What do they do for the lids? With the coldest lids. Yeah. Coldest lid? Duh. This effing thing. Oh, wait. Put them have... on the back of the chaser bin, Tyler. What? Put them on the back of the chaser bin and let them ride on the back of what it. What the fuck's chaser bin? What you're dri pulling. It's an auger wagon it's a or a chaser cart. bin. Uh, they're called chaser bins, too. It's a grain cart. Chaser bin. It's a grain cart. They use fully insulated 2.0 lead technology, which keeps water colder longer. First ever. It's on my hand Dan cheat sheet that they sent me this time. I must not have been hitting all the points last time. <laughs> <laughs> like, so we need to sign up this. Yeah. Like the this chase. Guy. Can barely read. Legitimately, yeah. they said it's like a little pamphlet, like the size of like a birthday card. 
It's an influencer Ray. tips. YouTube, Instagram, and TikTok. Share your experience. <laughs> share the features. And it lists everything. And it's like, was your water still cold the next day? Where'd you take it? Did you run out of water? Did you? What do you? Uh, did your friends think I'm of it? Rubber banding. I don't know. I was Tony Limey. I think Tony's doing everything, to be honest with you. Yes, he's Limey. Good shit, Jimmy. Yeah, he's doing everything but the distance, so that's perfect. Perfect. Just enough for me to get in the fields, play a little bit, and. No, I'm getting all of that. This field's got hella Oh, we're gonna need uh, sprayers too. Well, maybe Tony's gonna need a spray. I don't know. <laughs> don't worry, Tony will do it. It's a fertilizer <laughs> plants, but. I mean, I can do this spraying. Just give me something to do. I, I'm, I'm, just, out of, but I'm just gonna put it out there, Tyler. You, you uh, wanna go to that Alcatraz East Museum that we went to? Yeah, yeah. It's it. There's so much shit in there. So much shit. I I think I missed half of it, but damn. It like they have they have an actual like section dedicated to law enforcement. They have a whole section dedicated to 9/11. They have a whole section of like serial killers and cold cases and forensics. Bless you. Bless you. Bless you. And all kinds, all kinds of shit. Come on, don't dribble. Right, I think the most interesting one that I saw I was I don't know if it was a replica or the original. I think it was a replica of the uh, the pizza delivery bomber. No, that's the actual one. Uh, it was the actual one? Yeah. Like the, the cane and the... Yeah. Damn. Wow. It, it was the actual one. They actually... The, the Bronco that was in the OJ chase, the actual Bronco, not OJ's Bronco, but well, it was the Al Callen's Bronco that was in the actual chase, is sitting in that museum. Hmm. It blew me away. I was like, I'm, I remember this. This this is like the, like the first like big news story that I remember from a kid. Wait. That takes place before... I thought it was before. in the collection. No. No, the the one that was an actual chase it is in Vision Forge. Oh, where am I going? Here, the, that was cool. the one, the I'm one that was. Having issues. I'm loud. Oh, sorry. The one that was uh, OJ's actual Bronco, the one that had the blood on it. That one was in a private collection. The, it it oh, ended okay. up getting sold at. So many on, Broncos. Yeah. Well, they were identical. That's why a lot of people confuse them because they're identical, but OJ's actual Bronco wasn't the one that was in the chase. It was Al Callum's. Oh, Bronco. gotcha. So OJ's actual Bronco was in a private collection. That's the one that had the blood on it. That's the one mm. that showed up on Palm Stars. The one that's in that museum down Pigeon Forge is the one that was in the actual chase. Just like Ted Bundy's freaking beetles in, in that freaking museum. His actual beetle. I'm like how the fuck do you get this shit? And from what I understand um uh, what's his name? Walsh the guy from America's Most Wanted. Is it John Walsh? Sounds right. I think it's, it's John or Joe. One of the two. Anyway, he... It's not Joe Walsh. <laughs> Joe Walsh is a musician. There you go. Joe Walsh is the musician. John Walsh is the guy from America's Most Wanted. Yeah. He has he own, he has some sort of part. He owns some sort of uh, percentage in it. And then it was a museum that was in Washington, D.C. And they moved it down to Pigeon Forge. The craziest thing that was in there was, uh, was it Delaware's lethal injection machine? <laughs> was down there. It's like, that's something you, from your hometown you don't imagine to see. 
my wife don't want me to mention it, but they had a breast oh. ripper. <laughs> oh. Yeah. She looked at it and was like, oh, no. But I'm taking a picture of that to remind you. But yeah, a lot of that shit, like they had a bunch of uh, John Wayne Gacy's shit, like his paintings and his leather jacket, his wallet with all his credit cards in it. <laughs> yeah, like they had his credit card. Yeah, it was his actual credit yeah. cards in there. I got a picture of it posted on Instagram. I oh, see no, I saw it, yeah. I was like, what? I tried to buy something with it, but it didn't work. Yeah, it didn't work. It Did expired. FBI show it up? Show up? No, nah, nah, it was expired. expired. A little disappointed. For what it's worth, I saw um, the full size Bronco for the first time this week. The new ones? Yeah. Ugh. I've only seen the small ones that look like the Ford Flex. Don't they only make one Bronco? No, they make two. They yeah. make two? Yeah. Uh, I only ever knew one. So we when I saw the first one, the it was the small one that looks like the Ford Flex. And I was like, what? That's what they turned the Bronco into? And then saw the actual full-size one this week. And I have to say, like, if you're going to bring back something like the Bronco I feel like it's unfortunate that it doesn't look more like the old Bronco like yeah. it just looks pretty stupid yep but and they I'd be pretty same, embarrassed to drive one they did the same thing with the Blazer they made the Blazer almost look like a, almost look like the Explorer well mix between the Explorer and then the um, Honda Veloster oh god yeah oh, don't mention that it kind looks like that I was going to have have flashbacks. What? The Veloster. That was a isn't Veloster. That, isn't that what uh, candles that drove? I don't know. Honda Veloster. It. That's I'm what I'm pretty I sure. Drove I, for a yeah. week. I actually liked it. But that back seat is more useless than the back seat in my wife's beetle. What the hell yeah. was it? And, and, and then like a hatchback? It had a coupe. third, it had one side, it had a third door that was like one of those suicide doors, like in what? the pickup trucks. Did it only have and three doors? Yeah. Yeah, that's what she drove. It was the most useless that's why back I seat ever. Why would they put that in? I understand the extended pickup trucks, but why would they put that in? Oh my god, car? we're gonna buy a new fucking combine. Leave my combine alone. But like I said, like my wife's Beetle only has two doors, and the back seat is more spacious and more practical. Oh, is it now? <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. Very nice. If you're into that claustrophobic sex. Ah, uh, it's not bad. Well, I mean, it could bad. be worse. Could be worse. You could be driving an Explorer. It could be a smart car. Those don't have back seats. Well, I mean, well, I mean, in order for me and my wife to to drive or ride in a smart car, she would have to sit in my lap anyway because I'll be taking up both seats. So, <laughs> I had my first rental car was the Fiat 500. Oh, I went to the pit. Yeah, talk about too. claustro. Yeah, talk about claustrophobic. I went no. on the highway no once deal. with that, and I was like, "Nope, I'm gonna die." Yeah, that hurt. Yeah, it did hurt. And I'm only at eighteen percent. That's what uh, I hated about my mom. My mom had one of them Jeep Liberties, 
and that damn oh. thing was like driving like the steering wheel was so small it was like an arcade that. machine i think my steering wheel i have for my pc is like the same size as the steering wheel <laughs> yeah delivery. i hate that my friend had one of those and we went on a road trip down to um philly and i drove there and i was like the dedicated road trip driver and dude i hated that thing mm-hmm. i actually told my friend i was like dude you you need to drive back because i'm sick of driving this and this. your shitty four speed <laughs> manual transmission like is it better than a three speed though i'd rather than a three speed four speed is awkward so when that the first time my mom went on a cruise me and my dad like she went with a bunch of friends and me and my dad was like or my dad was like hey she left her keys here use her gas instead of using yours I'm like all right so i bebopped around that thing all week long and i absolutely hated it yeah the only thing i hated right. driving more was my dad's bronco that thing like every turn you went around, it felt like the ass that was just gonna whip out from behind you. I was like, eh, no. yeah, notoriously terrible handling. That was the felt, sketchiest, felt like but I prefer to drive that over that damn Jeep. I think I'd rather drive an El Camino over a Bronco. This guy has fucking El Caminos. I like them. I love El Caminos. Two dream car, cars is a Charger and El Camino. That's what they should come back with. The El Camino? They did. And the, what was it? What was it called? The, not the HHR. That was the the. No, that was the stupid. That they, was like. Se- that was second to the. Uh, was, uh, not the Pacifico. What was the Chrysler that really sucked? PT Cruiser. Uh, yeah, PT, the PT Cruiser. Cruiser. Yeah, it's like yeah, second so to the PT Cruiser. Yeah. yeah. The but they had a is like right up there. Yeah, they had a a pickup that had like the same front end on it. Oh yeah. I put I put it in. Uh, what was this? Was, wasn't it like the not the SS? It was like the SSR. No. <laughs> Ow, what was it? SSR or SST? Yeah, I think it was the SSR. Thank you. Sounds about right. That was Steve. That wasn't really an El Camino. That was just like a low riding that was, that pickup. Was, that was a different. That yeah, was different. That was like their futuristic El Camino. Attempt. No. It wasn't. Yeah, it was. Yeah, that was, it was when was. they came out with a bunch <laughs> of random shit because then they had yeah. the. That was the same time that like the Plymouth Prowler came out and they were all into these wacky concept cars that they. Yeah. Tried to make production. And they're the like, SSR you know what's cool? SSR El Camino. Wasn't. Let's make a futuristic El Camino, and that's what they shit out. No, but they didn't do. I'm saying what they should have done is gone the way of what they did with like the Charger or the Camaro, and like actually did it right. And I don't like the new Camaros. Look, where it doesn't Call look like crazy. a concept car. I don't think I've seen a new one yet. I'm talking about since they brought it back. I, they haven't put out well, a body style that makes it. I like, I like it. But I, I, especially after now, I want to show you. I didn't like it when they first put it out. That it made it a sedan. But I was like, I get okay. They're trying to make a family car. I think after that first one, like after that first body style, when they brought it back, every body style since then has has been improved. That first one was ugly. Well, it's always yeah. the first gens that are always either, either the best or the worst. But uh, no, have you seen the the Hyundai Santa Cruz? Yeah, I mean oh. that's like as close to an El Camino. That, no, wait, that's worse than the Ridge no. Line. I don't know. They're both anything like that is just garbage. Oh, better than the Maverick. <laughs> I no. saw one of those. No, it's the Maverick. Mini Dakota. The Maverick looks better than than that Santa Cruz. That Santa Cruz is ugly. I'll give I'll give Ford that. It does look better than the. Uh, what? Is, well, that looks more like the Subaru Baja. <laughs> what is? Ford's yeah, exactly. That's what it looks like. Yeah. Truck. Ford small truck is now the Maverick. Ranger. Well, before. No, the oh, Rangers yeah, decided. Ranger. The Rangers decided yeah. F one fifty now. And they started making that again in twenty twenty, I think. Yeah, but it's the size of F one fifty. 
now it's yeah. no, it's a little bit smaller. I I test drove them. Yeah, but the Maverick's smaller than the Ranger. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. So the, the small truck is now the Maverick. The Maverick is smaller than the Jeep Gladiator, for sure. Another yeah. top oh, yeah, five of my ugliest pickup trucks. That's not Jeep even a pickup truck, dude. <laughs> After playing GTA with that Gladiator, I would hands down I have one. I don't give it's a like shit. It's just a convertible SUV. <laughs> uh, th- yeah, pretty much. That's what it is. Same thing with the Maverick. The Maverick is someone that like grew up and lived in the city that moved to the suburbs and it's like I need a truck and then Keller. so it's the future sport track you remember those I grew up in the suburbs man you remember the Ford sports tracks yeah. which was like Explorer without the the back yeah yeah yeah, yeah 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 my brother used to want one of those so badly and oh, I was my. like so did my sister she thought well, the original one had like cleats ever. on this like boat cleats on the yeah. side of it and it's like what the fuck are you gonna do with those <laughs> <laughs> I will say, the Maverick is so short that my chin probably can sit on the top of the roof. Yeah, again, it's an SU- It's a convertible SUV. Like, the trunk space, it's a four-foot bed. It's a crossover bed. pickup truck. Yeah, it's a four-foot bed, so it's useless. You can't put a bike back there. You can't put a snowboard back there. You can't put anything back there. You can't even put a piece of furniture. You can put like a recliner. Pizza. That's not even that. That's a new one, Steve. Like an end table. Maybe. I didn't know anyone that drove a PT Cruiser yeah. got laid. Well, like I have a five foot bed, and I find that to be pretty useless sometimes. Yeah, I can see that. It's an awkward size. Like there haven't there hasn't been. I mean, there hasn't been much that I haven't been able to fit back there. But does that grill fit back there? <laughs> yeah, it does. Okay. Now, I couldn't pick that grill up and put it in there. <laughs> well, I was making the joke of, did you actually get rid of your grill yet? Because mm-hmm. you've been talking about it for like oh, yeah. four yeah, it's months. Gone. It's gone. I didn't my, know brother, took it. my brother got a uh, dumpster brought up to his house. And uh, I just threw it in the back and drove it up there. This guy. Oh, hey, you got a dumpster? I'm coming up to visit. <laughs> Just tossing his shit. <laughs> he got a 30-yard or a 30-foot dumpster and, like, he didn't have that much stuff to put in it. But okay. It's just, he works for a construction company so he just took the, like, their disposal company and just got a oh, so cheap rate on it. So they brought, they brought it up and left it there and that's like their smallest size so it's meant for like commercial sites so he only filled up like maybe a quarter of it and it must be nice to be able to get 30 yards put the call out to the family like if you need anything thrown out just bring it up here a 20 yard house. dumpster here is $700 that's I don't even for a week I don't even know if he had to pay for it actually we need a dumpster, but they're near and dear high price right now. Everything's high price right now. Newsflash. Well, yes. Yeah, it's just been 83 bucks to fill up my truck. Uh, 50 for the car. So we have, uh, we have Rural Farms here, which they have a rewards card where you save 10 cents a gallon. Well, Even then. Well, no, like... Ten cents ain't that much anymore. Like, let's be real. It's a kick in the nuts. Yeah, but still, <laughs> still, it's a time of ten cents. But anyway, um, ten cents per gallon. Uh, so no, I know that. But yeah, if you think about it, like if you have a twenty-gallon tank, that saves you two bucks. Two bucks on that. Don't have to spend. I'm just saying. <laughs> just saying. Anyway, <laughs> so I I always swipe my well. Since we come back, they've converted over to like a, an app. So, yeah. you, like, I, I swiped it three times, and I was like, why does it keep saying invalid? So I finally took it into the guy at the, behind the register, and I was like, dude, why can't I get it? And he just peeled off a piece of paper, and he was like, you got to convert it over. So I go back out of my car, get it converted over, try to pay at the pump. It wouldn't let me pay at the pump. So I had to go into the freaking the, the store again, 
and pay at the register and the, they have self checkout now all self checkout and the most I can get was 50 I was like that's that's like a half a tank and sure yep. as shit it was a half a tank of gas I, told my, I was like I'm so glad I don't have my, my Silverado right now because we'd be hurt my, our grocery store does like rewards stuff for every like dollar that you spend at the grocery store you get like points and then the points can get you like x amount of points will get you 10 cents off a gallon and you can That's get like a max of, max of 40 cents off per gallon <laughs> sheets has 50 cents bitch oh, 10 cents again does not matter i said and, 50 no i know but i'm saying the difference between 40 and 50 doesn't matter <laughs> well to phoenix it does so yeah but anyways, hey, every the gas penny station I means that they, I know that. the gas station that they have it for, because it's for one specific gas, like brand of gas station, and the closest one to us is also the one that's off of the major interstate here. So the prices are jacked up. How much is a gallon of gas up there? Depends on where you go. Well, average, like average, what, what, like where, where, where how much? I went back to. Cost you? My parents. I went back to my parents' house, and out there it was like four. Have a turn. Just kidding. Thirty. It's cheaper than what it is here. And that no, well then where I am now it's like four forty-five. It's still cheaper than what it is here. Okay. Yeah, I, I when I went down to Pigeon Forge, paid three ninety-nine the week we got down there. When we left, I paid four oh nine. The same day I got back. To Delaware, it was 4:40 a gallon. Within five days, it jacked up to 4:59 a gallon. I don't even know what's sitting there right now. If you pay with a credit card, it's 4:59 a gallon. Here, they don't make a they difference here. Yeah, it doesn't do any difference here. Down there, you, you could. You, you don't pay have a difference cash. between cash and card. No, you don't not, have to pay. not here. It's 10 cents more expensive if you pay with a card. Well, yeah, I can see why, because a card can bounce. Yeah, down there they had 10 cents off if you paid well, cash Well, no, up it's here because they the have a credit card processing fee that they have to pay, so they offset it by... You see, everywhere around here, if you pay by credit card or it's four sixty a it's gallon cheaper. right now. Oh, what? Okay, what is happening? Yeah, it's actually cheaper if you pay online and or credit card than cash or odds and ends. Like my Verizon, it would be 20 bucks cheap, cheaper if I paid with credit card or and or line. Yeah, and here it's it's the same whether you pay cash or not. There's some places where they'll give you a discount if you pay cash, but that's, there's very few of those out, out this way. Like, But like I said, down there, every gas station will was 10 cents cheaper if you paid cash. Of course, I don't right, yeah, cash that's what I'm saying. That's here, what I'm saying. but no, it's not a thing. That's uh, not a thing? Nope. Yeah. No, it is here. No, because right. where they dupe you around here is they advertise the price on their signs and stuff, like the digital price, and then they yeah. have like a small little asterisk on the big sign, and then you get to the pump, and it gives you that price, and then below it, it says like, the card, like if you, the price, if you pay with a card. Yeah, that's how it is here. It's like annoying. it gives you the price. Well, it gives you both. So it gives you the price. The first price you see is with card, as if you have your rewards card. And then the second price is how much you pay if you don't have a rewards card. And yeah, I see. It doesn't do that here. Diesel. Well, you guys have you have like combies, like Cumberland Farms. Here? Yeah. No? Yeah, neither here. Oh. So they what are you have doing, this, bitch? They have this thing. Where him. They have a digital sign at the pump. And if you're not a member, you pay the extra ten cents for the gallon. But then it also highlights in this like big sign that the rest of the station can see. Or it just highlights you as a non-member. <laughs> it's like super degrading. Because it's like, oh, we got a non-member over here. <laughs> what a loser. Yeah, pretty much. That's, it's like really embarrassing. 
but we uh we stopped at a sheets down in Virginia and they I pulled up they had four different freaking pumps <laughs> one I've never seen this shit in my life plus fuel yeah so you have be- you have regular you have diesel you have flex fuel and then you have unleaded 88 yeah all at one pump four so, different handles I'm like what the actual fuck here you see we only have three handles here it's well diesel is separate but it's flex fuel 88 then you get 87 88 and 91 here that's our fuels that's, I, I was like I was like what what fucking pump do I use because three of them were on the same side and diesel was also yes. it's, uh, on its other side I was like what the absolute hell I, I never understood the um, unleaded 88 to be honest what the fuck is that fuel it's a hell of a lot cheaper than what regular is I tell you that much Flex fuel is basically anything that's left over. It could be a mix of 91, it could be 93. And what do you use that for? For, like, drinking? Flex no, fuel vehicles. Our car is made for flex fuel, but we don't use it. It's just we like a garbage buy. disposal for gas. It's a, yeah, yeah, it's like if you use it in anything else that other than flex fuel vehicles, it could cause damage and stuff like that. I was like, well, it's a rental, so can I risk it? I did, I did, but I thought about it heavily. But is it, it was like cheaper though? It was like twenty cents cheaper a gallon than oh, what really? what regular was. Yeah, I did not know that. Yeah, we always bought cheap. eighty-seven. So let me put it this way: I think I think yeah, it was the standard. I yeah, think yeah. the flex fuel eighty-eight was three eighty-nine, and regular was four hundred nine. So that's <laughs> an interest in this field. I don't know. I've just been hopping the railroad jack. Oh yeah, it is over here. The eighty-eight is basically E fifteen. It's fifteen percent ethanol. Yes, that's the one thing. And everything else is. Where'd you guys go? E ten or less. I just failed. Forty-two. Oh, going the wrong way. So you just check something here. Get the rental, get the insurance, get the cheapest gas, go home for it. No, they're fucking insurance is expensive. Yeah, that's because yeah. no man, don't get the insurance. No, I didn't. I no. didn't because the first you, time I did, and I was like, that's, that's like that's, that's like a hundred fucking buck. No, no, thank you. I'll use my own. Yeah, it's what I'm saying. Like, you get the insurance policy on your regular car that covers rental. Rental. Yeah. Exactly. It does. Yeah. yeah. I mean, no, 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 not standard you have to put that option in oh so i learned my lesson because i didn't get rental coverage and then when my car got flattened i had to pay for a rental car for two weeks out of pocket and no thanks yeah i don't know if ours does or not well there's two situations like one will cover a rental car, and then one car. Car. Never mind. cover. I'm under the insurance, Tyler. I, for Pennsylvania, I have to be under the insurance. Yeah, you have to be insured to drive or to legally drive a vehicle. You have to be insured. He doesn't drive though. No, I do. I just don't post just on tractor. media. Where the hell did you start, Phoenix? There's a down there. The field over here. Oh, I found it. But yeah. it's a fun spot to start. It's a fun spot. I'm a fun yeah. guy. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, way to keep things interesting. Mm. Are you still collecting patches or are you kind of got burned out of that? Yeah, no, I'm still collecting. I don't know if you found I, I any down have, there or not. I've, I've gotten to a point... So I don't collect, like, other people collect, like, they'll take any patch. Me, I have a list of specific patches I want, and that's the ones I collect. I want to collect, like, places I've yeah. been, you know, local departments, stuff like that. And I've gotten to the point where I can't find any of them that are cheap enough. Like, they're all, like, $20 and over, and I'm like, eh, I'm not, I'm really not into that. 
20 bucks or bad. But we did go down to, so in the national park, they have the patches for like places. Park so Rangers. I, no, no. Oh, I was upset. No. You should have. They do. Fucking. Yeah, if they had one, I would have. But it was like hey. so. They have different area, like the the waterfalls, the 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 nate the different trails. They each have patches. So for each one we did, I bought a patch for oh. for that. Like a Cub Scout patch? Yeah. I'm guessing, <laughs> actually. I'm guessing that's what it's used for. I just I bought it and put it in my patch book. You got your hiking pats, patch for the uh, waterfall. I don't know if you had to hike to it, but... Uh, mm, yeah, not the one we did, because, uh, you know, my kids have hiking. zero interest in that. No, <laughs> me and my wife wanted to, and they were like, eh, because my wife loves waterfalls and we love we go like the state parks around here we go we try to go at least once a week and walk around the trails at, at the state parks but yeah my kid that's why I said the next time we go down there we're, it's just going to be the two of us so we can actually go and walk the trails because it's like a mild trail to like a really nice waterfall and we're like let's go do it and of course my, is it like a hike, hike, or is it like a just like a path? Uh, it's a path. It's a, it's like um. Like could you ride a bike on it? No. No, it's not like a. See anything you can't ride a bike on, I consider to be a hike. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so it's a hike then. <laughs> yeah, because if I mean like changing elevation or like climbing up or down rocks, it's a hike that involves work. So yeah, okay, then it's a hike. I I I just consider it like a uh, a trail. I would say we call it trail. call it around here is trails. Hiking for me is like you're going like mountains. Yeah, well, I was in I was in Smoky Mountain. Well, <laughs> I'm 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 thinking <laughs> like a couple miles, like you got to pack for it and all this shit. And, a mile little trail up the waterfall. I don't come really consider that hiking. Well, all right. I don't want to make it seem like I did something cool when I didn't. And if I walk <laughs> a mile trail, I'm like, I hiked a, a, a trail to a waterfall. It makes me sound cooler than what, what it actually was. I mean, the destination is, <laughs> is the point. It's more the terrain. Elevation gain, I would say, would also be a determining factor into whether or not it's a hike. But I was going to say, you know, if it were somewhat flat, could get him like a Razor scooter or something. <laughs> uh, my, cool. it, it never fails. My youngest one, every freaking time we plan a vacation, two days before we leave. Get sick. Yep. Every single time. The whole time we were going to shoot. I remember that last time you went away. Yeah, she puked like five minutes into the drive. Oh, uh, no, no, not in the Charger. Oh, no, not in the Charger. No, I'm talking the last time we won. Oh. Uh, we stayed over in Virginia Beach, and then we we got five minutes down the road from Virgin, Virginia Beach to Tennessee, and she just puked all over her laptop. Yeah. Ooh. No self-control. Huh? I don't want kids. Well, my, my wife told her, she's like, because we know, I, I think she, it might be something to do with, like, motion motion sickness. Motion. You might get motion sickness. Cause it, yeah. it, like, My parents' dog has that. She... Not to compare the two. <laughs> she, she has that, like... <laughs> she's she's always felt kind of queasy when riding long distances, so... I can't do backseat of vehicles. I get motion nervous. I can't do anything but the driver's seat. <laughs> Same Dude, here. doesn't bother me anymore. Oh, I hate... Never did. I hate riding. I don't care who I'm... Ride with I'll just say, I've, yeah. I so either you, be in the passenger or the driver's seat. So you telling me that if you rode on a bus for a long trip, you would get motion sickness? I wouldn't get uh, motion sickness. I just hate... Mm-mm. I think buses, I'm okay. I just no. hate... Would you sit still, you bastard? It's a twitchy okay. one over there. <laughs> it, hello, twitches. Anyways, we're gonna go ahead and open this up. Every time I back around, he just he changes direction. I just want... 
don't I can't know. open He's, he's trying to accommodate can. for you. Yeah. Lot, oh, because I'm trying to open it the wrong way. But no, yeah. My wife, before we left last year, she's like, do you need your puke bucket? She's like, no. So my wife was like, the first thing she wrote on her list that she need, made sure she needed to pack was her puke bucket. Puke bucket, and yeah, sat not there. the No, she shockingly she didn't. Good. I was, I was shocked. You know, I've seen uh, a good chunk of my friends uh, start having kids and stuff. And my most recent friend to have a kid um, still wants to, like, actively hang out and doesn't really understand the fact that it's, even though I've told him before they had kids that, like, I'm not going to go to a brewery with you and with you when you bring your kid, I'm not going anywhere with you. When you bring your kid, because then they just cry and make a scene, and then you ruin it for everyone else. Yeah. And sure enough, like we, we wanted, that. we wanted to go to a winery that's out by where they live, and my wife's like, "Oh, invite them," and I'm like, "No, they're gonna bring the kid, and it'll mm-hmm. be a thing." And like, sure enough, they did. And to preface this, we also a few months ago went to a, a brewery with them. And there was live the music brewery. playing. Oh, yeah, you don't take yeah, it's a baby. You don't take a baby to live music. There just happened to be live music at the brewery, and the kid was totally fine, like enjoying huh, itself. Really? Didn't make a scene. Didn't do anything. So we went to a winery that was out by them. They brought the kid, and then within two minutes, the kid, kid just, just wants the rock. Started making a scene, and I was like, Getting yeah, it was, yeah. That's not the point. The point was... Uncle PJ's about to teach a kid a lesson. PJ's what I have to himself. What I don't, don't like, really oh care God, for is... Yeah. Mind you, this was my college roommate. And... and I, he would never have the patience for this. Ever. But they fed the kid. We were at their house. Fed the kid. And then, like, two minutes later, the kid's sitting there on the floor and just involuntarily just like barfs up everything uh, just blah, all over itself all over like the mat on the ground and stuff and then they're like oh no like we gotta take care of this and I'm like what like that that's disgusting yeah <laughs> just disgusting like yeah, no. I don't have any patience for that I just can't see myself as the type to be like, oh no, let's clean that up for you, little buddy. <laughs> I'd be like, well, that sucks. <laughs> this guy. Man, I remember having to change a diaper. You're going to have to sit in that for the rest of the day because you should know better. I remember yeah, having to change a like diaper in the throw, parking lot of the friendly. Yeah, my cat will just house an entire bowl of wet food unnecessarily, and then 30 seconds later, we'll just throw up all of it. And then I'm like, well, you're not getting any more food because you like look what yeah, you did with that me. opportunity. Yeah. 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 Here's the problem with me is like, like I can see someone I puke and I'll, I'll be fine, but if I smell it, I'm puking. Like the smell of puke makes me puke. My so, cat's vomit is the most vile thing. <laughs> it's the only thing I think recently that has made me dry heave. <laughs> Listen, I'm just trying to drink here. I had everybody relax. <laughs> so, like That's when subject. when the little one was a baby, like she puked. I'm, I'm, I helped, but I'm like, I can't smell it. I can't smell it. I can't. I can't smell it. Well, that's my problem. Is like I, I don't have an affinity to that, and I mean, my wife's been in the uh, healthcare field working her way up so like she's changed bedpans and wiped asses before <laughs> nope <laughs> nope yeah no um, and like totally comfortable for that me like if I have a nasty dump there's a chance that like I'm kind of scared to wipe my own ass just <laughs> yeah and that's when you get a bad day <laughs> so, that's why he's got it he's got the button installed in the house the so he just pushes the button <laughs> It lights up a light for her. Come down and wipe his ass. Uh, I'm ready. <laughs> it's just, it's not for me, and I know that, like, 
if you have a kid, like there's, I don't think there's any way that you can get out of like changing a diaper yeah, or wiping yeah, ass. Yeah. I feel like you don't. I feel like you have to. Yeah, it's like a 50-50 split when that happens. It's like not, not, uh, not for me. Yeah, not today. Well, it, nope. it certainly wouldn't be that. Yeah, see, it but would see, be even like five percent still wouldn't be up my alley. Yeah, no. See, you don't, you don't have. I, I used to think the same way until I had a until kid. You have kids, yeah. I yeah. hear that all the time. Yeah, I, I was like, you ain't gonna catch me no wiping way. any asses. No, that's not gonna happen. But like I said, I've had to change a diaper in the middle of a friendly's parking lot. You know, excuse myself from dinner, take her out, change her diaper. See, that seems like in. way too much of an inconvenience for me. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> you don't think about it. I mean, like, and like I've been pissed on, I've been shit on, I've been vomited on. See, and like, it's just like you don't think about it. Now, if say you're oh, dating no, someone, no. Say you're dating someone and they shit on you, you're like, oh, that's fucking gross. I don't think I want to see this person anymore. When your kid does it, you're just like, oh, let me make sure, like, contain this as best I can so it's only my shirt that's ruined. Like, that's how, you, how your brain works with it. It's it's so fucking weird that, like, Cause that's how that is. I don't know. I think I'm a little bit more emotionally disconnected. <laughs> Again, because you don't Where, have kids. Like, if you had a kid, start, you... I would start running a tab. I'm like, you ruined my shirt. That was 20 bucks. And then... Oh, no. She she does not hear the end of it. Turns 18. It's like, here's the bill. <laughs> That's actually a good idea. Every time she's like, yeah, this is what why I have to do you. something? I was like, because you shit on me when you were a baby. Yeah. Do it. Uh, I mean, you can't really do that because that wasn't their choice. I mean, that was your choice. Mm. So I wasn't that, my choice. That argument, to, that argument is no. Not, that wasn't my choice. It was to an extent. Technically, no, because uh, both of the pregnancies, the one we lost and the youngest one, were she's on birth control. So I, I told my wife, I was like, if I get uh-huh. you pregnant a third time, I have super sperm, and we're selling that shit for. The but top there dollar. was a decision made to go without ketchup. She was on birth control. That's Honestly, protection. That's not, the decision I'm, that's not the decision I'm talking about. The decision to knock the boots? Nope. After that. Oh, to keep it? Yep. Oh, that's not even a decision you made. Well, my brain. Yep. My brain is like, as soon as, as soon as you saw the line, you're like, yeah, okay, well, I'm a dad now. Well, then I guess then I'll go back to my, or your previous one. Like, it was a decision. That's some crazy shit they're talking about overturning that. Yikes. Oh, I know. <laughs> I saw that. I didn't like, want to get into that because, I saw that. I was I like, what? That's a thing. How's this happening with Democrats in charge? Also Texas. true. I mean, I know how it's happening. No, stay here. Like, it was working, you fucking... It works here, too. And I'm out of PJ's way, somewhat. How it's happening? It's just kind of funny. Not Well, it's no, I take that back. It's not, none, of it's, none of it's funny. I'm just saying that out of the entire time in history since that has been the judgment that it happens now and under this leadership. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. That's what's funny. The situation itself, not funny. Very concerning. You just had to go in reverse too, didn't you? Yeah, I was... Yeah. Uh, you're good to go, man. I, I, you're going the wrong way, so go go for it. Wait, I'm going the wrong way? Your, I pipe, thought I was your pipe's supposed yeah. to be out. So I can get to you easier. No, like, on the outside. No, yeah. Oh, yeah. Right, I'll turn around, then. That's what I'm that's, saying. Yeah, that's what was... Your pipe's supposed to be facing away from the green. Yeah. No, I know that. I thought... I was going to let you... 
I, I was gonna let you do your thing. Man, I, was, I was just waiting to go the opposite way. I misjudged the direction you were going because I just had to go on your footprint <laughs> when I started, and I oh, went the wrong way. Bitch. Oh, so we we went to us. So it's probably the nicest place that I've ever been to, like eating in down there. Uh, we we it's a a steakhouse that like people said you have to try to get a reservation like as soon as they open or else you're not going to get in they start taking reservations like they don't open till five you can walk in there at four and start reserving tables luckily i got mine online like advance yeah well no i got mine online like a week ahead of time we yeah, made a plan so i was like can i book it online i looked at it i was like i could do it a suck it week ahead of time i was the second one on the list i was like ha, suck it bitches and uh i was like so so I, my wife was like she's like oh i really like the river view and you know i told her we're going to go down there to celebrate our our 10th anniversary you know so i put in the I was like i'd really like a river view you know, it's my wife and I's 10th anniversary. We get there. They had a candle on the table. They gave us a Hell discount off the yeah. cake. Yeah, you make those special requests. I was like, oh, this is pretty cool. You don't I got, I got brownie seems- points, and I didn't, even, I didn't even ask for it. I didn't ask for the candle or the, the cake. And, they, they, you know. Since the pandemic, I found that, well, A, like online reservations are the way to go. Oh, yep. 100%. Especially when you're at, eating at like, like a busy we restaurant. To, we went out to yeah, exactly. We went out to dinner tonight at like just a local restaurant, but Friday night seemed to be a little chaotic. And oh, yeah, it was like always. six o'clock, and I made a reservation for like seven o'clock. I was able to do that, but every place that I've made a reservation at, they have a section for like special occasion or special instructions or something like that. And if you tell them like. We went out for our uh, anniversary back in September, and I was like, oh, anniversary. And they came and gave us, like, a free bottle of wine and had the table all decorated and stuff. And it's like, and they didn't charge you for it. That's the best yeah. part. Damn. That's what, like, yeah. so, so the, the like original part ask, of this. We'll do it. The original part of this, uh, the, why I brought this up is because we, we got in there and, the, I mean, this place is packed. The, the lobby of this place is packed. There's a line out the door. Mm-hmm. I was like, holy shit. I'm so glad I made a reservation online. And at okay. right at 5, she starts calling names and you're like, you get a text message. Like, Your table's ready. Yeah. So I uh, we went up there and I was like, yeah, I mean, the, the woman, the, she points to the, the waitress and the waitress takes us off, and there's a whole lot. They have a whole line of waitresses just waiting to start seating people. Yep. And, I mean, there had to be at least 20 of them in this line. I was like, oh, I damn, they are they are going. And as we're walking, she's like, are you guys celebrating anything special tonight? I was like, yeah, it's our, our 10th anniversary. And she's like, oh, well, congratulations. I was like, how did she know that? The woman didn't even say anything to her, and then we get to the table. I was like, "Oh, that's how she knew." Yeah. <laughs> she was just like, "My last name, table 35. <laughs> and the woman nodded. And she's like, "Follow me." Yep. Uh, jump at the drain car. It's semi full. I'll be better. Look. 170 bucks though for four meals. Jesus. For, it was worth it for one meal. Yeah. No, no, four for four one. meals. Which four meals? you can't really count the youngest one because the youngest one, uh, the kids menu. If you're under twelve, it, they they charge you for your age. So it's a dollar for every year old yours. So hers was ten bucks. And it was not chicken ten. Best. Yeah, it's not bad. A pretty reasonable. Yeah pricing method i mean yeah. based on the honor and system i mean she obviously. her her drink was included with her meal she got chicken tenders fries and then she also had access to the salad bar so chicken tenders. 
Yeah, but I got a fucking prime rib, the, the mountain cut. Dude, oh, that was steak. I'm going to have to get rid My of wife got me. steak and shrimp, and that I kind of wish I would have got the ribeye because that hers was amazing. Mine was pretty good, but it didn't match up to that steak. I was like, oh. We were saying about going to Applebee's today, but mm. I don't know. Apple there's nothing better one. than doing one of those meals where you just ball out. And yeah, that's what like, it was. I told her. Price is, is not an object. Like I told her, I, we, we can eat down. fast food for the rest of the week. We go here for our anniversary. We we get All what we want. Out. And uh, that's what we did. And it was it was delicious. And of course, 170 included the tip, too. Which we yeah. we gave her a $20 tip and rounded up. I think, or was it 25 I can't remember. Maybe it was 30 We We definitely balled out on that night. And then we ate steak and shake the next day. <laughs> Yeah, it's nice to do it every once in a while. I mean, just you know, it is. You gotta do it. Yeah. Yeah, but whenever it gets up to seventy bucks, one hundred and seventy bucks, Brandon, one hundred seventy bucks, one hundred seventy, my guy. I know. Are you talking about yours? But I'm just saying around here, well, seventy bucks. You know, like, there are sometimes that I, I go to a very expensive restaurant, and then I'm like, <laughs> oh, oh, I feel like. This wasn't as good as it should have been. Yeah. I mean, instead of spending seventy bucks, I can just cook at home with it. No, 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 no. No, that's, that's definitely not different. Even, that's not even comparable. It's if you go out to eat. I'm saying that there are times where we go to a restaurant where it's like, you know, forty dollars a plate f- or something like that. Yeah, and, no, and I don't you do get that it. Shit. And then you're like, oh, okay, well, I feel like the 99 restaurant actually does their steak tips a little bit better than these steak tips, and this is a disappointment. The most I ever spent on a dish was like 20 enough. bucks, and I was at Olive Garden. You cheap bastard. And most I've spent I missed on a What do you say? $85. Like, why would I Eight. spend that much money whenever I can just go to Walmart or a store? My most expensive. Make my own meal for even more and get more. It's like three hundred something Spotty. dollars. You don't have to do anything. Brandon, this is why you I don't have, have a girlfriend, man. Out. You gotta, you gotta spring and impress the ladies a little bit every yeah. now and then. Or you know, find someone like my wife. She loves going to the nines. My wife. My wife. I mean, my yeah, wife. here or there, but she already was. I can. Cook. Oh, yeah, no, my wife. Anytime we, anytime we talk about going out to dinner, first suggestion every time is the nines. See, we haven't really went for an actual but dinner since they took away the turkey time. club, I have no business being there. I don't even know what the nines is. Ninety nine restaurant. Yeah, Never heard of it. Around here. Oh, okay. Uh, it's like a slightly less fancy version of Applebee's. Eh. But like a big chain. And they do their decor is all like local town stuff. So they have all like the high school sports teams pictures up and all that. See, my, I, I, I got you even beat even better. My wife is perfectly happy with a diner. diner with food, what? A diner. Oh, my... Yeah. Hey, that, we're regulars at our local diner. Yeah, so. exactly. You go it, where you want to go out to eat. Uh, Rudy's. Well, if it, yeah, if it's breakfast stuff, then Roscoe's. That's where we had. Roscoe, don't try anything. Oh man, uh, the diner here in town. You can get it's three ninety nine. Three ninety nine. You get two strips of bacon, two sausages, sausage links, a pancake. Um, a and, pancake. Yeah, a pancake. For what the fuck's that. <laughs> How do you eat just a pancake? <laughs> it's three ninety nine, man. One pancake? That's a that's an odd. You should seen this fucking pancake. We got we. I was it weigh like I, five pounds? No, I I uh. Well, the the one I'm I'm telling you about now, maybe it it was huge. This thing was about. This thing was about as, as thick as like three regular pancakes. Picture didn't happen. Hold on, I'll show you. <laughs> because so I went three ninety nine. Sounds like a Denny's special. Oh no, no, no! Yeah. This is a different one. This is a different one. 
the the pancake I'm talking about right now is the one we tried when we were down there in Tennessee. Uh, it's just a regular pancake Wait. you get the, for three ninety nine. Wait, now I'm confused. I thought you were talking about Rudy's or okay. whatever. Okay, no, Rudy's they have a they have a a breakfast for three ninety nine, three dollars ninety nine cents. You yeah. get uh you get a glass of orange juice, two sausage links, two bake pieces strips of bacon, a pancake, eggs, and hash browns for like home. I guess I could consider home how many eggs? Anymore. Two eggs. So three ninety nine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, right. I don't trust this place. Dude, it is delicious. Okay. See, of course, we, we haven't been there do. for breakfast in, in a couple of years, so it might have gone up. Uh, yeah, with inflation, yeah. It's and the probably pandemic, five nine yeah. nine now. Okay, well then at that point, give me another pancake or five yeah. two. <laughs> Den- Denny's is the same price. Denny's didn't yeah. change their prices. That place did. <laughs> we used to go to eat in our Valadaria a lot, but you guys doing to the soybean field or where you doing? Okay, I'm waiting to see what Phoenix is doing. I'm following. Uh, I didn't know there was another soybean. soybean field. I didn't know if there was or not. I'm trying to. Wait, I'll put an admin room. Trying to get back in fields. What's the fields? Those are the pancakes that they had down at the place we had breakfast at in Tennessee. Ah, I got one of those. <laughs> With my my meal. Holy, that's not even a pancake. That's like a fucking that's hamburger. A, that's a pancake. <laughs> no, no that's a, way. No, I don't like that. That's it not was, a pancake. It was really that's good. Like um, pan- like, that's a fucking pancake. It's just a thick pancake. You just no, like a that's not thick, a pancake. thick no, waffle. It's not no, it's not. There's something wrong with that, and I'm trying to figure yeah. out what. And it's I like think it's it's not, because it's, it's not. They, it looks like they kept it. In a like an egg mold, like they do at the fast food restaurants on the flat top grill, where they put like a mm. circle, metal circle down, and then pour yeah. the batter into it. Probably. I don't like that. No. I don't like it. I don't like it. It's not a pancake. That's not. It good. was fucking delicious. I'm sure no, because it, it has cinnamon sugar topping on it. No, mine didn't. Well, that mine didn't. Helped. But that was that was like one of the best pancakes I've ever had, and. Here is the rest of my meal. I didn't get a picture of the pancake. I had to find that online, but that was the rest of my meal. <laughs> yeah, no, I'll pass. I can tell you didn't take that picture based on the 4K. Yeah, right. no, yeah. I didn't get a picture of the pancake. The picture I just put in that, that's, oh, you got that was the rest of it. Yeah, it came, it came with... You got a whole ass pan. Yeah, it was a fucking skillet, my guy. They had yeah. It had ham in it. It had a, a sausage link, two bacon strips. Hang on, hang on. Um, I don't like Eggs, this. sausage and gravy, grits, and potatoes. Huh. And that biscuit, man, I can tell you what, that biscuit is one of the best biscuits I ever had. I wish I could zoom in on this. Zoom in yeah, on what? You open original. If you're on your phone, you can. Oh, if, do you, you want me to send, send a better quality original. picture? Because that one I just screenshot off my Instagram. No, no, no. I just want to... Oh, if it's on your Instagram, I'll I'll do it. I'll figure it out. So what are you looking at, Keller? So what's under the ham? Uh, there's nothing under the ham. There's something under the ham. No. Something next to the ham? <laughs> on top? Like, no, above not it? On top. No. Oh, yeah, above, if you're going, yeah. Okay, yeah. it's a... Uh, oh. Is Hold that up. hash? It's not hash. No. Hold on, I'll tell you what it is. I didn't try it because it had cranberries in it. I hate cranberries. What? Oh, cranberries is the best damn it's thing ever. Stuffing? Hey, Brent, I, it's, I live in the cranberry capital of the country, and they're overrated. Uh, it doesn't mean if you live in a capital, means it's the best. So. I'm looking at this. I'm going to get myself fucking hungry. It does. Uh, I'm John Hunter. I want some freaking steak. No, I got some cookies. It and is Eagle. called a sandwich. Cherokee sweet corn pone. P O N E. Pone. Okay. Uh, so it's like a corn based version of stuffing. It's a southern version of cornbread, but simpler. Corn pone consists of cornmeal, water, salt, and oil or bacon drippings, while cornbread adds eggs, 
sugar, buttermilk, so like, flour, bacon. So it's grits. <laughs> No, grits, it, so. it was like the texture of stuffing, pretty much. Right. Yeah, yeah. I'm just saying the ingredient makeup is that of grits, but it's in a baked form. So it's in. So it looks like stuffing. <sighs> I don't know. I mean, I guess. There you go. It's probably a better quality picture. All right. Price, price is right. Price is right. Are you want to know how much it cost? I thought you said oh, it was three ninety nine. No, that's no, that's that's for Rudy's. This is at Crockett's in Tennessee. Oh, shit, uh, that was sixteen ninety nine. How much? Sixteen? Yeah. <laughs> I thought that's paying eleven was a lot. Damn. It comes Damn. with skillet full of that food. I mean, yeah. that's no, sad. it's a big ass skillet, dude. This thing was yeah. huge. No, I it, it's so it says served with our Cherokee sweet corn pone on the side. No, Grits, no. hunt camp potatoes. Three ninety nine version. Oh, I don't no. think that's now. I'm that's, not interested because sixteen ninety nine. That's overpriced in my no, opinion, dude. It came with. This, Dude, I look at the that size of that biscuit meal alone. For Ten bucks here. No. It and everything's more came expensive. With, came with that whatever that sweet corn stuff is. Grits, hunt camp potatoes, biscuit, sausage gravy, griddle cake, <laughs> uh, ham, bacon, sausage, two fresh eggs. There's a diner a town over. It's called Belly Busters, and they have the Hungry Man special. And it's something similar to that, and it's ten ninety nine. That's what they have here, Perkins. Best damn thing ever. I think you got ripped off, my man. There you go. That's my prime rib I had. Now that looks like it's worth every penny. Yeah, oh, it was. Oh, oh. With the oh, with the cheese on the side and the cilantro on the side. For your baked oh, potato. You yeah, but you can sprinkle all that stuff on as you wish for your potato. How much was the prime yeah. rib, just curiosity? Uh, are those bacon bits? Those are bacon bits. <laughs> How much is the prime rib down there? Uh, oh, I think it was $43. Yeah. Yeah, that's a good deal. Uh, if I just pay another 15 I can get the whole thing up here, so. Yeah, but you have to make it yourself, my guy. Yeah, yeah but I like but... cooking, so that doesn't bother yeah, but you me. You couldn't cook it to that quality. Yeah, no. Yeah, you, hey, yeah, you couldn't. Uh, not on your um, laptop grill, my friend. <laughs> yeah, no, exactly. And then you don't get the that. you don't get the baked potato. You don't get the salad bar. You don't get you don't get you don't have to the, the luxury of not having to cook it. <laughs> you see me, I like cooking food though. Yeah, it I do too, but every food. now and then, especially when you're celebrating. Yeah, Brandon. I'm oh yeah, I can see whenever you're celebrating. I'm the first little guy out here. I love cooking everything on the grill and you can't do you can't like do a, prime rib in the grill you can put it in the oven bread. like i've got i've gotten like sirloin steak tips and put them on the grill that's one thing but there's nothing better than like a you're not gonna cook a steak as good as a steak sirloin out. yeah there it just hits different that's a piece of meat it was yeah Oh, and the best okay. part. No, that, that's a bargain. Because I'd probably pay like. Around here, that'd be like 50 bucks for that. That's, really, that's, that's a 10 ounce or a 12 ounce? That's a 16 ounce. That's a 16 ounce. I yeah, know it was that's up the there. mountain cut. I knew it was up there. Uh, I'm always going to see this in the morning and yell at me because I'm sharing pictures that is making her want to go back down there. That was the cake we got, which is, it was like... Zebra. <laughs> yeah, but it had like, it was like uh, chocolate uh, cake yeah. with like hot fudge and then yeah. ice cream. And, oh my god. That is cool. For like the sweets, that'd be... I, yeah, I was gonna say, that's loaded full of... Oh. Yo, no, I could, I, that's why I, the four of us shared one piece, because... Yeah. yeah. You can't. So the place that we go to um, is... Seasons fifty two, and they actually like wheel a cart out to you after dinner, and they have like little things that are in like these like oversized shot glasses, so you can get essentially like a single serving of any of the desserts that they show you, 
And you're like, oh, yeah, I'll have that. And then you just get this. I hate you. Big shot glass. I'm so, I'm so glad. Up north a little bit. And it's the worst the color, though. I'm so glad you're here, PJs. How the worst color. How does yeah. registration work in New Hampshire? Registration? Yeah. You could basically just, <laughs> like, hand write it and send it in. Um, because... Uh, from my understanding, these so tags, these tags expired in March. It has, a, it has a number three on it, and it says 2022. Uh, to me, I read that as it expired in March 2022. If of, uh, if you're out of state, you can't get pulled over for expired tags. Be sure that I didn't registered. get pulled over. I just once we got down to Virginia, my wife was looking at it, and she's like, uh, I think those tags are expired. Wait, you yeah. guys still put tags on your vehicles? Yeah. Not That's here. They stopped that back in 2017. Yeah, we've what? been over this. Yeah, we've been over this. Yeah, they don't do that in Pennsylvania anymore since 2017, I think it is. That How does that make any Super sense? Canadian, man. Like, because... Oh, you're still putting tags on your cars. Yeah, we don't do that here, so... No, but if you're out of state, um, you can't get pulled over for expired registration. Because every state's different. Yeah. Oh, hey. Because Massachusetts is every two years. Some states every year. Some states is five years. I hate you. That's that's uh, explains the parking right there. So it's underneath the building, but it goes right outside there. Don't hate them too much. Wait, so above that I, parking is the ground. It's the worst color Ab- car that you can get. Above that no, part, no, above really where I'm parked is a broom. It, it, well, it's terrible. probably their balcony. Balcony. That's name, so weird. Name a worse color. Brown. Pink. No, that comes in standard for these. You can make it standard. Brown. Brown is the worst color for it's anything. It's not even brown. There's, they don't make brown tan. No, there's, they they're definitely make a brown. They make brown. Oh. They make tan. They make all sorts of different colors, but that's not that's not bad at all. Yeah, no, I, I'll give them... Uh, I'll say this. It, in person, it, it looked really nice. It, I like the color. It's like a wine red. Really nice. Yeah. I don't say that's a wine red. I will say, I do like the new... Or I guess it wouldn't be new, but the Ford Reds. The Ford Reds. Yeah, yeah, I got the Ford Reds. I don't know. I don't know what they actually call it in their color codes. Oh, where are we going? I was taking this back up. I was going to rent a a cotton harvester and harvest those cotton fields. Is that all all that's left? That's radar. Three, uh, forty-three is cotton. Yeah. The only thing it's ready to harvest is forty-three and forty-seven, which are both cotton, and then twenty-six, which is corn, which I'm going to uh, chop. Right. So, oh, uh, forty-five is ready. That's sugar beets. You want to do sugar beets? Uh, Maybe he wants to do cotton. I thought cotton was a little bit more up my alley, but apparently okay, not. Okay, you can do cotton if you want to do cotton, Feather. Do you have a Cotton harvester? No, no I was gonna rent. rent one. Oh, okay. You gotta rent both. Yeah, not no sense of buying it if we're not gonna replant it. Yep. But I will fight anyone who says that the garlic steak burger from Steak and Shake is not the best fast food burger of all time. If you want to call Steak and Shake fast food, I I've never had Steak and Shake. It's got a drive through, so I consider it fast food. What? It's got a drive through, so I consider it fast food. Does it really? Yeah. Yeah. What you, would you call it, Kyler? Not the one I went to. I only went to Steak and Shake sure. once. I'll, 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 I'll give you this. If you go inside, they actually serve you on like actual plates. Yeah. But it does. It does have a. It does have a drive through. Dying feel, but yeah, no. Yeah, you go up to the counter, you order it, and they bring it out to you and on plates. But I don't know. We did. Oh my god! Not drive through, takeout, and it took like a half an hour. Really? Yeah. 
Interesting. Mm, we had ours was like five minutes. Then again, I was in some random town south of Atlanta. So we used to have one, and it was ran by teenagers. It was a place to go, though. Like everybody was just chilling there, but oh, it was a place help, to go. So it went out of like, business. The place was packed full of teens. Yeah, and that's that's literally how it was for us too. Like after like high we school, felt, we'd all head out over there, and it out. was so in good. Our, food. In our late twenties. As twenties, um, twenties, <clears throat> Caucasians. It was really uh, crackers. Yeah, oh God. that's what I felt like. <laughs> I mean, we were in the middle of nowhere. Yeah. You probably went on a plane already filled tonight, right? No. Okay. No, we sort of have some other stuff to do. Do you want a round baler or do you want a square baler? Um, square for your cotton. Oh shit! Oh no! Oh no! It's happening. What's happening? Uh, the, the traffic jam. Oh. The Macy's Day Parade. The Macy's Day it's parade. a parade. <laughs> it's starting to happen. Ugh, so sorry. My insurance will cover this. <laughs> Mine won't. Uh, about that. <laughs> <laughs> I took out the insurance policy. Don't worry. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. Speaking I of may, HR. I may live in it. No. You, uh, in, oh, my God. I haven't stepped foot near this computer. In, Jesus. You've had, like, two, three weeks. I know. But. Come on, Keller. Did you watch that video I sent you on TikTok where it, it sounded so much like JT? What well, was sure it wasn't? I sent you one, and he's like, I'm an operator, uh, but it sounded like JT making that voice. Oh, it should have been. Yes. I don't remember that. Oh, I'll find it and play it. I'm scrolling back. Trust me, I wish I had the time to get on my computer and have some actual time. Where the hell am I going? Off the map. Goodbye. What happens when you go off the map? That does sound like it. <laughs> it sounds just like JT. Yeah, it does. My name's you... Josh. It's even his name. Too. Yeah. It's... <laughs> my name's Josh. Yeah. Oh, I'm my God. Operator. I need you help. Got, you just got to reset the yeah, I'm put Mick Keller. To what? No, don't reset it. Do? I'll put it at the end of the line. Get up! What happened to you? Where you are? He's out of the map. He's nope. flying out of the map. That's why I said he needs a reset. Yeah, I just tabbed out of the vehicle, so <laughs> <laughs> out of sight, out of mind. <laughs> oh my! Oh, it's Tyler. God. It's not my problem. Was it my combine? What the yeah. fuck? <laughs> oh, I see it out there, just floating. <laughs> All right, y'all yeah, can figure that out. <laughs> you fed me uh, right round, so. baby, right round. <laughs> oh How did you manage that one? You probably tab down to step driving because there's no borders on the end of the map. You just, just false fly, fly it off. Nope. To be honest, I thought I was following a phoenix and I didn't have my map on. Yeah. <laughs> nope. Still going the right way? No, because you're going. I don't know. You're going down here. Yeah, I'm going the 45, 47, 43. Need to or cotton. Wait. I thought I was doing cotton. You're doing cotton. I'm doing sugar beets. Wait, so what's cotton? 47, 43. 47 and 43. Oh, 40, okay, all right, all right, sorry. sorry this is sorry. what it was happening last night when we were trying to play this game. Like, I was trying to explain <laughs> to him. <laughs> uh, oh, yeah, that well, the sad thing is, is I haven't had a sip this evening. That's what the bad thing is. That's scary. How big of a sip? Like a gulp or just a... <laughs> I haven't had anything. He said he hasn't had a sip. Oh, uh, I thought you yeah. said you had a sip. I'm no, having no. a 12 ounce can. Of what? What's the tea? Yep. What's the alcohol in that? Just for us? Like 3%? 4%. So 5, you bitch. Is it 5? Yep. Oh, they upped it? I don't know. A little bit. So uh, I I uh, remember I used to have to drive up to Millinocket, Maine, which is like a five-hour drive for the fraternity. 
and my roommate and I just used to house Twisted Tees on the way. Terrible idea. Yeah. But yeah, don't try that at home, kids. Out in a space where it was like it's a logging community, <laughs> so it's all just empty roads with nothing, and you have to drive two hours on this dirt road that's straight. And it's like, what else are you gonna do? So what else are you gonna do? Uh, <laughs> my uh, my stepmom made this mixed drink for my wife, and she freaking loved it. So she asked for the recipe while we were down there to make it, and I made it in like it's like a I don't even remember what size the damn pitcher was, but like the last night before we left, we still had half a pitcher of it. And I was like, I'll tell you what, I'm just going to fill up this lemonade. We've got these giant lemonade cups from from uh, the island. And I was like, I'm just going to fill the lemonade cup up with it and drink it. And I drunk on it all night long. I was tore up. <laughs> <Jesus>. <laughs> uh, I think I, I think I, I downed it. And then I think I just immediately just oh, laid shit. in bed. <sighs> yep. I think that's why my, my body's all out of whack ever since then. I just, I'm drinking constantly. Good beam. I've been so good about not getting drunk since that one night. <laughs> oh, there's always that one major event, and you're like, we never again. He was on the floor. Yeah. Well, I have, I've never been, I haven't been drunk like that in a while, and that's vodka. I, I've never done good with vodka. That's why I puked. Would you do that again? If it was the easiest. I'll moment. do it again with whiskey. I will not do it again with vodka. I feel like vodka is like no, I'm home okay. base. <laughs> vodka is like the home base, like your starter pack, and then you no. branch out from there, and then you get into like the whiskey, the gin, the rum. Dude, I can I can do whiskey, rum all night long. Fine, vodka. I don't know why. That and the yeah, freaking peppermint schnapps. Weird. I wouldn't mind trying black. It's probably because I just I just down the peppermint schnapps because it. You just need to try. You need some. You need something that doesn't taste good. No, my favorite drink is uh, apricot brandy. Like I could drink that. Like oh, 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 it's delicious. Are you a human? Yes. (laughs) What are you talking to us right now? That's. What? Anyways, you just need alcohol, Brandon. Some sort of alcohol, just clearly. Yeah, try it. Just try yourself a Mike's Hard Lemonade. That's a good starter. No, it's not. Twist try Twisted Tea. Twisted Tea is the way to I'll start. And uh, I don't know. Twisted Tea. Mike's Hard I, Lemonade. I, I like Twisted Tea, but the 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 flavor get gets to me. I think the uh, sweet tea I had today. Past, it's course. not that big of a deal. I've housed a 12 pack to myself. Maybe because I like sweet tea and it's more of a lemony tea. I'm not. Yeah. That's why yeah, I you can those get the. Out. You can get the half and half. Like, there's different. Yeah, birds. there is half and halves, yeah. Yeah, but it's all got I, lemon I, I in it. It's not. Yeah, but you can do the. I mean, I half like and half is half, too, half lemonade, half nice. tea. I just want it straight up like a sweet tea drink. Yeah, that'd be my Oh, so you do like the sweets. Oh yeah, that's no, why. I love well, sweet that's why tea. Just Mike's hard lemonade first, because that's yeah. super sweet. That's why I said for him, like for him that that's a perfect it starter. Like sugar. He's like lemonade. Yeah, although I'll say I've never gotten hammered off of no. Mike's hard lemonade. No, but it's a perfect the, just the, the just just toe in the water. For him, I mean, he a it's going to put him on his off. ass. You know, yeah, he gets halfway through a can, he's gonna be like I gone. Three sheets of the wind. That night because I might say something. That yeah, I, come I, think out. I think for your first time drinking, it's gotta be something where you just chill. Get, get oh, Mike's hard lemonade is malt stuff that might rip up his insides. Oh. Malt. Uh, malt stuff is not good. Malt stuff will give you a hell of a hangover. Because it's sugar based. We talked about yeah, we talked about that too. You want, do get a, a, a Jack Daniel's down home punch. It's a wine cooler. 
Yeah, I'd say your first time, I'd avoid the wine coolers. You gotta do if you if it's your very first time, you gotta do beer. Oh, beer so I you know what though that no. was my first too. No, yeah, was my first. no. First. no. Yeah. Don't I don't, had I didn't like don't it. Don't waste your time with beer. Go straight for the hard stuff. My first was <laughs> Coors Light, and Ooh, no. that's Mine why was, uh, Coors Light's my favorite. My my first was Miller Light, and I yes. fucking hated it. Oh, yeah, it tastes like piss. What yes. Yeah, no, Miller Light was bad. There's I've other tried generic. There's other generic beers that taste way better. I've tried uh, Miller Light and Coors Light, and I, Mil- both Miller of them. Sucks. I was like, I went from screw this shit. Drinking everything from I started with Keystone Light, and well, no, I started with Coors Light, but in college, Keystone Light was like the big thing because it was cheap, right? right? And PBR. <laughs> yeah, and PBR. And PBR Natty Light. Tastes, PBR tastes like dog shit. <laughs> and then Keystone Light just tastes like, like if you lived in a town with bad water, and you drank out of that tap. Jesus. <laughs> like no bueno. Holy shit! That damn sugar beet yeah. gonna take you forever. Yep. Uh, so yeah, no. Uh, my beer, buddy, here's the way to start. You have to do beer. My buddy, yeah, the most mellow. Yeah. My but when we were 18, we hung out with a guy named Jay, who was 24, and he was, he was our our supplier. So we had to get what he he liked because he took a cut, and he liked Miller Lite, mm-hmm. and he oh. he he oh. brought. Brought by the big, was it like thirty pack? Mm-hmm. Yeah, they have thirty pack. And they're, they're like, "Hey, Kyle, here you go." I cracked it open. I was like, "I'm gonna be a man. I'm gonna try me some some beer tonight." Well, the first the first drink I ever had was uh, coconut rum, but uh, the first beer was Miller Lite. God, and, yeah, uh, bad experiences. <laughs> and uh, I I <laughs> took a big old Miller Lite. There you go. I took a big old swig of of that fucking. Middle of the light, and I spit it all over my friend. I was like, and "Oh, I didn't spit mine." Out. I, I yeeted the can. Way. I yeeted the can into the cow pen. I was like, "That shit is is with the cow shit. That's where it belongs. That is the most disgusting fucking thing I ever yeah. tried." And I then, really tried because Brad Kozlowski was sponsored by Miller Light, and then I'd always <laughs> have one available in case he won. And then he did win in the Miller Light car one time, and I tried to drink it, and I couldn't even get through it. I was like, "Oh uh. no." Nope, yeah, this is no, disgusting. It's probably one of the, the worst out of the big name, like generic beer companies, like for all the bushes and cores and all that stuff. Miller Lite's the worst. Not We uh, no, I didn't. I don't like it. We we had a, a bottle of Jack Daniels and we were just pouring it and everything because, you know, no. we were drunk I kids with a bottle of Jack Daniels. And do you remember the drink? vault yeah yeah so we poured some in the vault and that that also got yeeted into the cow pen (laughs) (laughs) that was an abomination to have never my personal opinion is you have to if you're going into the hard stuff you start with vodka no you have to no it's the most generic blandest no No. tasting Mm -hmm. the easiest thing for me was Captain Morgan Captain Morgan was like I hate that. That that was that. my gateway. And then I you know, I I, I went from there. Vod- no, hear me vodka out. Like always first, makes my me first puke. Hard booze was vodka. Just just you know, just the tip, just to see how it felt. Just the tip. Just to see how it felt. And then I quickly found that like bourbon whiskey was my jam. Yeah, no whiskey I got definitely. I off the Jack Daniels. I think like my first weekend in college, and we trashed our dorm room and threw like half the stuff out the window. Nice. And I, that's when I realized I was like, yes, <laughs> this. <laughs> this. I was yeah. like, this. <laughs> yep. This is gonna be the thing. Whiskey's my go-to. Yes, like, apple I, I pie, whiskey. moonshine. I'll back you up there, Steve. That's some moonshine. Good shit. I do like moonshine. I'll fuck with moonshine. 
So good old grain alcohol. You won't you won't drink whiskey, but you'll drink moonshine. Wait, Tyler, you won't drink whiskey? He won't I'm do whiskey. You. He won't do whiskey shots with me for stream. I don't know. I've really never tried it. My it depends on the whiskey. Don't really do, good don't do Jack Daniels. Bite it. I was like, trying to Jack drink the whole Daniels jar, is a very like, no, 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 <laughs> no, no, no. You take a couple it was, sips. It, no, it, it was, was so good though. Yeah. So I had peach moonshine when I was in South Carolina. This guy yeah. that lived on the property just made his own like bathtub. Yep. Moonshine and infused it with peach. And I hate peaches. Like, not a fan. Same. 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 Uh, not a fan of peach flavored anything. Same. But Especially those us, gummies. He gave yeah. us each a mason jar with a little slice of peach floating in it. And he was like, oh, yeah, it's moonshine. And that shit was delicious. Yeah. My dad uh, grew up down there in Georgia. He told me about the first time he tried moonshine. And he oh, said so good. he was doing yard work for this guy. He was... I think he said he was 14 years old, and he was getting thirsty, so he went out and asked him. He's like, do you have something I can get a drink? And he goes, yeah, go in there in the freezer and mm -hmm. pull you out a jar, take yourself a big swig. Should my dad, like isopropyl alcohol. <laughs> my dad was like, I didn't, even, I didn't even think about it. He said, I reached in. He goes, I didn't, ever, I didn't ask why the water in the freezer wasn't frozen. <laughs> he said, I, I took off. He said, I took a big old swig. He said, it tasted just like cherry Kool-Aid. Mm -hmm. it, it was cherry uh, cherry moonshine. He said, it tasted oh, God, just like... like it's scary as when you thing. can't yeah, taste he can, the moonshine yeah. because it was so infused. He, so was, yeah. Put, yeah. he put peaches in the entire process. It's like, oh my God. That's what he was like. On you and you're fucking oh, flat on I made face. a lot of bad decisions. <laughs> he goes... That time... He goes, I took a big old swig. He goes, I didn't, he, he's like, it tastes just like cherry Kool-Aid. Again, didn't stop to think that it was clear. <laughs> he goes, I ended up drinking half of it. About an hour later, my mom comes to pick me up. I'm, I'm laid out in the middle of his front yard. He <laughs> said, my, my, my stepdad threw me in the back of the pickup. He goes, I didn't sit down for a week because my ass hurt so bad from the ass whooping I got. Uh, he said, but it tasted yeah. good. <laughs> Hey, first time I had moonshine, I slept outside too. Uh, he said, I I he did. passed out. I uh, yeah, I almost did. Oh, uh, that uh, the 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 probably the most drunkest I ever got. I was drinking everything in sight that night, and I I we were working the haunted trails, and I I passed out in the woods hmm. on a little uh, black tarp that they had laid out for us to hide in. I passed out in that. <laughs> the, the Amish guy come and got me <laughs> before everybody left and threw me on the back of the wagon. Damn. I... Uh, I can't even think about the drunkest I've ever been. I don't... I'm pretty sure you have ten times wilder wild stories because of college. Yeah, cause like, but as uh, amazing as your stories are, night where like your duty as a pledge was to get as drunk as possible, and as I I saw what everyone else did, like a lot of my friends, I saw what they did, and I'm like, no matter what, like I've never, I've never like pissed my pants or like. Piss the bed or something like that. Oh, I've never done that. My brother does it every single time he got drunk. Piss the bed. My, bro I, my brother, I, yeah, my brother used knock to on do wood, have never done bunch. that. My yeah. brother used to do that a bunch, and then I watch one of my good friends in the frat, like during the uh, the games night, where they just drink as much as possible. Uh, just like wet his pants. And I've watched my brother wet his pants. I've watched so many people, like, drunk, wet their pants. And I'm like, I, I think no matter how drunk I got, I would never wet my pants. Yeah. yeah that's no matter how drunk I get, I'm pretty, I'm like, I'm like I got to pee. I'm taking my like, wiener out. your pants is... What's up, Mr. Folio? How what? are you? I said, 
no matter how drunk I am, I'm like, I gotta pee, I'm taking my wiener out. I'm not pissing on myself. Uh oh. <laughs> I'm just, I'm just saying. I'm just saying that you fell asleep with your wiener out. No. Yes. Like no but but as, as great as your stories are, have you ever? Can you say you've ever gotten drunk with a bunch of Amish kids? And when I say kids, I mean like we were teenagers. And watch uh, one sad. fall out of a tree into the back of a hay wagon, dressed like a monkey, and scare the shit out of a bunch of people. <laughs> that was that. Oh my god. That's still one of the like top five funniest things I've ever witnessed. We were all drinking. He had to like run across this little bridge, and he was drunk out of his mind, dressed like a fucking gorilla, fell off the tree into the back of the wagon, scared the living daylights out everybody on that wagon, <laughs> drunk out of his mind. <sighs> Dude, oh, Amish you know people. That monkey that's going around recently? I, I don't know about up there in Pennsylvania, but Amish people are the best to drink with. They have the best Same stories. Here, yeah. <laughs> my, no matter how drunk I got, all I gotta do is get in my buggy, and my horse knows the way home. I flipped <laughs> my buggy once. Oh, this is a good story. Tell me about this. <laughs> I just, I, I rolled my buggy. I fell asleep. Next thing I know, I was in the middle of the field upside down. You can't make this shit up. Ah, uh, good time. What were you saying, Brandon? Did you hear about the, um, I'm not going to say the whole monkey box. Yeah. What? That's what he's talking about. Monkey box. Huh? What the hell's a monkey box? This is a new... I don't say... It's not new. It exists. It's, it's very rare, and it is now in the United States. Hmm. Oh, and Pox? P-O-X? Hospital. Yeah, P-O-X. But there have been a few... Well, there have been a couple dozen cases in North America. I thought that you were saying monkey box. Like, yeah, put yeah, stuff like in a box. Looks... Disgusting. I haven't seen it. I really don't want to. Then it's like, mm, excuse me. I mean, you've yeah, had acne. No. you've had acne before. Everyone said, yeah, acne. it's like a white head. Oh no! But All over your body? body. Cover. Uh, yeah. Cover uh, your body. You have a problem? <laughs> I don't know, but you have like flu symptoms on top of it. Jesus. Yeah. No bueno. No. And I was like, when I first heard about it yesterday, I was kind of joking with my wife. I was like, it. oh yeah, wouldn't it be funny if that was like the new pandemic? Jeez. Well, it's turning into it. I mean, no, it's not. There's one case in North America. Dude, now they're close. There's like 20 something cases. Oh, well, well, very it's rare. Not the new pandemic, my guy. It's rare. It's, it's not deadly it's manageable and it takes a lot to get it in fact the most common way to get it is if you and of course a a man. he's telling you shut your mouth it's uh male to male intercourse ah Brandon I have a high chance of getting that is the most uh, common. <laughs> no, you're the one to spend That implies time. you got laid you first. Hot tub, so. There's no hot tub. Or whatever it was. There's a lake. Get it right. Oh, okay. That's what so. so we're not... No one... Well, some of us are not really... Well, I never... I just heard about it a couple of times. And <laughs> never yeah, I love how PJ yeah. corrected yeah, himself. Yeah, he goes, well, some of us. <laughs> <laughs> we're not... Well, some of us. <laughs> I'm saying don't spread it like it's going to be the next pandemic because I was yeah, like that's part of me was pandemic. wishing it and then I saw like what it looked like and then I was like hey like I still kind of wish it but not on everyone is your is you guys getting closed back down for the the uptick oh I'm hoping yes. fingers crossed we're in the high they, risk area they closed Dover down this weekend for it even oh, though they oh. have the air show oh yes 
Yeah, all the Dover I, buildings are closed oh, this weekend. Oh, I really hope so. And they're supposed to have an emergency meeting, emergency meeting on Monday to discuss well, if they're going to close really down, down again. The where they're just like, F this thing. Just wear your masks. We don't have to wear masks. Yeah, they're, they're starting to recommend it, yet. but... Can, considering how liberal they are, I know. It's surprising, but, like, they're... They're they trying to get winning a re-election, putting everybody like, back City, mask. Like, mask mandate again, and Massachusetts isn't doing anything. Can, but considering they're like the second highest state for COVID right now, it's a little surprising. But I, I think they can't do it around here. There's no way they can't. Montana. It would people. cripple the state, and pretty sure everyone knows that. So they're just gonna let everyone keep living their lives. Yep. yep. Which I think is the right way to go. Like, at some point, you have to just yeah. back off and let it take its course. Like, yeah. the people that people that haven't been like boosted and whatever. That's on them. I haven't. But you I mean, can't. I shut, thought you used. Okay. You can't shut down the state. Again. No. It crippled no, the economy no. and it won't survive another shutdown. I just hope that my company is like, ooh, you know, out of over precaution, everyone should work from home again. Hmm. Pieces like yes, back in the boxers. Right. Yeah, I feel like PJ's right might be a more of a tidy whitey's man. Hell no. He seems kind of uptight no. like that. Nope. I'm about the uh, the spandex. <laughs> what? Yeah. It's like the uh, like the uh, elastic. So it's like boxer briefs, but like yep. made out of athletic material. Yeah, no, I'm all about the cotton. Oh, no so offense. comfortable. It absorbs everything so you don't just get like wet butt. Wet. I'm sorry, why would you what? get wet butt? <laughs> well, I mean like First co hot. cotton absorbs stuff, but it cotton stays wet for a lot longer than spandex. Why? Why is your ass wet, though? Is what we're. It's, it's called sweat. <laughs> your ass sweats. Is that bad? My back sweats like a fucking crazy. My ass doesn't sweat. I can tell you See, that much. My back don't sweat. It's my shoulders mostly. Yeah, but shoulders. where's where's your back sweat roll down to? It's like the fucking green my candy. shirt. It all rolls. <laughs> my down lower back rolls down to your ass no. crack. No, it. My, my shirt soaks it up. Speed, baby, speed, baby. Well, this has got a very interesting conversation, I'll tell you. Ass crack. Ass crack sweat. No, I have a very good argument for this. Hang on. <laughs> oh, God. He's Googling it. He's pulling a Brandon. What is no, he Googling? There's a reason. No, there's a reason. And a reason for what? Mud butt? No, not mud butt. Avoiding mud butt. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, that's what we call them in high school. I found yes, with the boxers, the with the boxers, any kind of like butt level sweat, just I don't know, like cotton just doesn't. Yeah, I can't wear spandex. That just drives me nuts. Oh, it's so form fitting. It expands. I can't yeah, do no. like it's, it's so non judgmental. Like it doesn't care if you gained some weight. Like the waistline still. I can't fits. have that tight. If thighs just... still. Yeah, I can't you know, do. I can't do the boxer brief or the. I like some form-fitting stuff. I don't I like the form-fitting stuff. I hate it and it just it. absorbs it a hell of a lot better than cotton. Full of uh, boxers, and then I get like some, you know, butt sweat or whatever. Then like the boxers are wet for a good hour afterwards. Like if I'm sitting in my computer for a while. How yeah, bad are you hot. sweating in your office, bud? 
<laughs> like, I mean, if you chair, you know, your ass is in your chair, I mean, yeah, eight hours that. a day. Jesus Christ! You might want to get yourself an ass fan or something if you're sweating that bad. You can get a, a water. Cold I'm chair. fat. I, I sweat. But my ass doesn't fan. get wet. You need a water cooled chair, dog. That's what I would like to ask. A water cooled chair? Did you just hear mm-hmm. yourself? Yeah. One of the tech tips did a um, video Phoenix. on that. I would buy that. Okay. A water cooled <laughs> chair. Yeah, I would buy that. There's actually one of the tech tips did a video on this. Detectives, detectives did a video. Oh, detectives. Line of detectives. Yeah. We heard. Oh, right. oh, I thought you were talking about detectives, and then yeah. Well, that yeah, makes like sense for what's going on down there. Yeah. Linus detectives. <laughs> Where's Linus at? I, 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 I foresee that going so bad, so many ways. I just can't do the tidy whities and I can't do the cotton. Because the, like the saturation, sticks around for a lot longer. I don't get. If there is saturation, I'm saying hypothetically, if there is saturation. And I'm weird about textures too, so. I don't mind. I, I used to wear. I don't. It's not a texture thing. No, for me, uh, like I'm saying, the, I, oh, spandex doesn't. Yeah. You don't like it, yeah. yeah. I'm saying spandex. Like there was this whole thing about you wear spanks. If you didn't wear boxers and stuff, you were doing harm to your junk. I don't know if you remember that whole thing. You gotta let the boys breathe. That was the the claim. Not true. Uh, wearing boxers ups your sperm count. Oh, that's what they said. It doesn't. It's not designed. To, it's not. I mean, it, it was in a bunch of TV right shows, now. so I think it's true. No, because it was a. It was in a TV th- show. Okay. <laughs> therefore, it's, a, it's in true. a medical TV show. Yeah, therefore, it's true. So, <laughs> Jerry Springer is true. Yeah. No. Okay. The fights are real. The stories are made up, but the fights were real. <laughs> yeah, because they. No, they're not. Hey, why don't you no, guys not. Go they get fight. paid to be on there. Yeah, yeah, that's what I said. The stories are made up, but the fights are real. Okay, well, if someone's like, hey, I'll give you 200 bucks to fight with your brother, I'd be like, game on. Yeah, I'd be like, that fool's going down. I don't care what it's about. It could be about, like, you burnt the corn on the cob. I'm going to make you go home crying to mama. I'll fucking fight you about it. <laughs> <laughs> no, they... I don't need a backstory. I'll whoop his ass for free. Spandex is... The way to go. It absorbs all of that stuff. That makes me worse. So. Especially on the hot days. Like it's gonna be 95 degrees here tomorrow. Hundred. With, with like 90 percent humidity. Yeah. That is my worst moist. nightmare. Oh yeah. Oh, it's gonna be moist, sticky. Trust me. There's gonna be back sweat that Phoenix claims doesn't reach his ass crack, but it will. It doesn't. That's how it was today, but like the wind was blowing pretty strong, so it made it nice. We had like an hour worth of rain, just me and all. Oh, you hell. don't get the humidity like out here, Tyler. Sorry. I'm sorry. Well, Y'all don't get, yeah, yeah, you don't get humidity like we get here, not around humidity. the beaches. I mean, yeah, you guys are by the water, but yeah. Yeah. it's like 95 degrees in the air, and then you add 90% humidity. Yeah. Where and then it just. It's like instant sweat everywhere. Like I we, have exercise-induced asthma, and, here. like, I literally go outside and can't breathe. Same here, yeah. brother. Like, I start breathing heavy as soon as I get outside. Yeah, there was... And my wa- my wife's is like, time, what do you want to do tomorrow? Do you want to do, like, some stand-up paddle boarding tomorrow? Because it's going to be hot. And I'm like, first of all, the temperature of the ocean is 50 degrees because it's only May. <laughs> So, so no, because you'll get hypothermia on a 90 degree day. That's terrible. Yeah, that'll that'll go over well. And also, like, it's gonna be in the 90s and super humid. So, like, I don't want to go for a bike ride. I don't want to do anything outside. It gets so humid here like, that I know you open the door and just like sucks the lay out air. In the tans, but. I'm sorry. Like we. Uh. 
Let's see. FBHH. Just... Fat people hate heat. That's yes, my... sir. Ever yeah, since I'm my fresh. Fat. No, me. Ever since my my freshman oh. teacher, like, he <laughs> went in. Yeah, he man. was like, even in the middle of summer, you're gonna want to bring a hoodie, cause I keep my air conditioner on at all times. He's like, cause of one reason. FPHH. We're all like, what's the FPHH stand for? And he goes, fat people hate heat. <laughs> I was like, that's well, my new that, motto. Now that I have the new, like, zone things for the nest, where each floor has its own zone, Yeah, it's I'm gotten a you, lot better. I'm guessing you have uh, Douglas. Yeah, central okay. AC. Well, central AC <coughs> can be ducked. That's what mine is. Mine's a central AC unit. But mine's a duct unit. Oh, I mean, it has ducts. Okay. Well, I didn't know if yours was ductless or not. Uh, I've never seen that. Uh, it's like How would that work? That'd be uh, yeah. copper lines running to the actual units, like a Mr. Cold units. Oh no! There's like a big ass fan that sits outside, and then, uh, I don't know, some kind of magician stands there and <laughs> casts his spells, and then we get cold air. You don't air. know how AC works, do you? Central AC. Well. Do you actually know how it works or no? Yes, I know how okay. AC works. Central well, how AC you sounding? The AC unit is up here yeah. in the loft with me, and the fan is down. So yours is ductless then? If you so it has ducts because we had to just go get all that shit replaced last summer when I didn't have AC, and I was bitching about it. Like, it... <sighs> The ducts go out to it. I just don't know how it converts from the ducts to that fan outside. Liquid. Mysterious. So you got a, oh, yes, yeah, liquid cooled. Yeah, so yeah, you yeah. got a radiator right. and a fan outside, but you have an indoor unit that has a heater in it, right? Say a radiator. That's what it is. It's a radiator. It's it totally it's a radiator. rad, dude. It's a radiator. So you yeah. have a unit inside. That blows it up into your area. Yeah, it's huge. Okay, Whoa. so it is a duct unit. It doesn't... So what yeah. he said! Yeah, we, have, we have grates. Yeah. Well, some people have a complete ductless system. They just have copper oh. lines running through there. What the fuck is that? And how does it blow cold air in? Like... Literally, that's like a new thing that's going around these ductless units. So where does the cool air come from if it doesn't have the a The unit duct? that's on the wall or up in the ceiling. Oh yeah, I just like the my controller down because like that's no he account. he no it's not he he's correct there's there's a little they're they're making them that because if you play um, I think it's mainly like a European thing it might be making its way over here that they have little air conditioners you can like mount on the wall what yeah I don't even know that no uh, I'm, say I'm saying like, what like that you can mount on the wall. Yeah. Like a wall unit. That. Or a ceiling. Uh, Here, I'm sending a photo. Oh, you got it? Please do. Yeah. Because your description's not doing it. Because now I'm thinking of like an it. Like a window it's AC. A random. Yeah. Like I have I'm little. Beat him to it. I have little ducts that are there like. There you go. Five, game. five, twelve. Where does that come from, though? It's not really central or is AC. it just plugged in? And no, it's not central AC. It's the little units that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, is... I've seen those. Hotel rooms have those. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. It's essentially it's a scaled down mm -hmm. version of a hotel room AC. Oh, okay. That's not central okay. AC. Though. Yeah, that's not. No, that's not. That's, that's down. what he was calling it. He was calling it central AC, but ductless. Yeah. Like, what? But, but better is what he was trying to Yeah, describe. that's not central AC no, at all. Sure, huh? Yeah. Like, I'd rather have... Plug with that the in. And then I'd rather have it with the ducts. That's way yeah. better. Well, to me, central air is the unit I have. What Keller has, if it has a heater, does yours have a heater with it? In an indoor unit. Yeah. That's HVAC. Well... That's how we call it around here. Oh, it's not I'm HVAC. HVAC, HVAC covers everything. <laughs> yeah. Oh, look, it's heating, ventilation, and air conditioning. Yeah, it covers yeah. that covers everything. It does, but 
like central we don't have air that unit is central air is saying. where you have it's, central air is when you have one big like you have motor. one air it's conditioning like unit that it gets piped throughout it's gets but piped it does throughout heat and air conditioning That's and it all heat comes through here. this yeah same vent it comes yeah. through the same vents like yeah. the heat comes through the same vents as the air conditioning yeah. and like it's not that yeah, fucking hard to understand <laughs> yeah because central air to way. us is only air conditioner a heat pump is your AC and heat oh my god well Grant, <laughs> it's, still, it's, still, it's, still, it's still central it's air simpler, huh? it's, it's called central air that's not central air that's garbage garbage compared to central AC Central AC is that we got that figured out. luxury. <laughs> Curious on what the fuck he's talking. Like I've never had a Central AC before, and now that I have it, I do. Oh, it's so nice. Yeah, never. As soon as I buy a house, you've never had like, it before. That is, That's insane. Oh my no, god! No man, I used to live in the city, and city doesn't have that stuff. You, We've you had don't it get that. since we moved you into that house in '98, and it, I've never, I'll never live without it again. Yeah. Uh, yeah. it's right, so but amazing. you moved. But you moved. My point is, you moved to a place that has it. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I, I had right. never lived in a place with central AC until now. Not even with your parents. Is the is and, the greatest oh, thing ever, right? No, it was, it was wall ACs, like or window ACs, in every room. Oh. So really? actually, I had to take the day off or the afternoon off from work today to go down to my parents' house to help my dad put, like, the diesel <laughs> AC in the window, because... Hey, what? Can someone empty this trailer? Two-person oh, job. A diesel field. AC. Okay, I'm not diesel. I mean, diesel in terms of size, not... He's talking about, like, <laughs> big, beefy yeah, AC, yeah, not, like, a bit. diesel yeah. power. I don't know, yeah. so I never heard of a diesel one. It weighs yeah. like 120 pounds, and it goes in the window. But yeah. it, the BTU on it is 48,000. Uh, it's like 20,000. Oh, which I'll say will beef cool off. Is 48, so. Well, it cools off about 1,200 square feet on the first floor. No, no problem. Yep, two two, motherfucker. Okay. We're actually firing up our air tomorrow. Hopefully, it runs. So I, I kind of spoiled my, my dad and stepmom. Really it's just the best. I kind of spoiled my, my dad and stepmom yeah. because uh, I don't know if you remember a couple of years ago where our AC unit went out. And yeah, I remember I, that. I had to go yeah. out and buy one of those little ones that you yeah. has a tube that you stick out the window, so it's not like I, an actual I window have, unit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I so have that. after I have they re right now. replaced it, I gave it to them. And they fell in absolute love with it, and they went out and bought another one. So she's like, I just wheel it in the closet whenever we're not using it. And when summer comes, boom, pop it right in the window. It's good to go. Yeah. yeah. All right. When our central AC went out, I uh, had made our landlord buy us one of those. Because I was like, this is unbearable. And it was in August. It was like the hottest month. Ugh. And I was like, dude, I can't work. The stickiest, too. Up here. And he wanted to get like bids for quotes on replacing the central AC and all that stuff. Now I feel bad in the long run because it cost him like twelve thousand dollars to replace the central AC unit. But in the meantime, he bought us the window one. Uh, so we got a quoted for first. And the window ones are good, but and it, it definitely cools off the of space. Like better than the window AC, in my opinion. Yeah. Well, it's, well, it's not. It's twofold for her because my dad's getting to the point where all of his medical conditions, he's having a hard time whipping around those big ass window units. So yeah, my, my, she's like, obviously. I can just, I can just stash Hold away on. Why in are the you closet. Putting that in there when not in the silo, my guy. Oh shit! Yeah, good point. Right. Yep. Whoops. Yeah. Fucking. Yeah, my parents are at the same point because, like, for either my brother or I to come down and help my dad like put in the the big diesel and diesel isn't big uh, units it's like a 45 minute drive 
for either of us. And it's like, this is not sustainable. We can't keep doing this. Yeah. So, but my and dad. So he's like, I'm oh, oh sure. okay. But this sure. is their last year, and they're gonna switch over to Central AC. Pretty sure your dad's the same way, hard headed, and you can't tell oh, yeah. him. So, by us giving that to to them, she, like I said, she said she just keeps it in the hall closet. And when it's time to put the AC in it, she wheeled it out. She's like, my dad takes that convincing. Like she's like, look how easy it is, and we can move it from room to room. So you know, if you get you get a little warm, you can move it into the computer room for you instead of having to take it out of the window and everything. Mm-hmm. And he's like. I don't want to spend money. And she's like, but they have them on sale. We can get another one. And Violet, she <laughs> convinced them to go get another one. Of course, the house they live in, two of them, can, with, with fans, cools that whole place down. So They oh, love too. it. Well, Jesus, my parents, the two of them, are in like a 3,500 square foot house. And they're still using wall AC, like window AC. Same. And <laughs> it's like the size of the AC that you need to have to cool down those spaces, are it's massive. How do they not have, how do they not have central to begin with? Well, that's the thing. And it's not like they can't afford it. Yeah, that's... So I've been telling them for the past like, eh, going on five years now. She's like, just do it. Just get central AC. Like, yeah, it's all a damn deal. Yeah, it costs. Just fucking, yeah, yeah, like it'll be there, and like it costs like I don't know, like fifteen to twenty house, grand. I mean, you're set. Hey, hey. hey. <laughs> <laughs> Let's not talk about my ulterior motives, sir. Right? <laughs> the fucking money guy here setting it up yeah, before you even get to. He goes, hey. No, but they really need it. I mean, my yeah, mom. No, it's it's nice to just, have. Uh, if in rough not, shape. Can... My dad likes to think that he's, you know, still in his 40s, but he's yeah. getting up to 70 now. And if he's calling me to, like, he called me to literally move one air conditioner up a flight of stairs. Yeah. And granted, that thing's huge, but. But still, like, it's. PJ's got it halfway on. up the stairs. He's like, fuck it, you get in central like, air, but. I had to take a half day off of yeah. that. Like, come on. Like, what if I lived in Colorado? Right. What are you gonna do? Phone you once just, and the washer is done. It. Yeah, just get it. <laughs> just get it. I can do it. Like, like either well, fucking do it or move out. <laughs> so. And I'll do it. And I'll do it. Yeah. I still don't completely understand how this one worked. Um, so, m- when my stepmom bought the house the AC was screwed up in it. Her her son-in-law is went went to school, has his own HVAC business. And for some reason, he couldn't figure oh, out shit. what was going on with it. So when we moved out... Ain't got when, no gas, when, yeah, ain't got no gas in it. Um, it's on low. So when my dad sold the house, before he did, he had... The, the son-in-law come out and swap the units so he could put the unit in their current house they're living in. He still didn't do it right. So <laughs> they have a brand new fucking unit sitting up there in the, the goddamn uh, theirs is in their attic and it's not this dumbass cannot get it to work. So and he went to school for this. He has his own HVAC business and he still can't fucking figure it out. So, and my dad's like, I ain't paying the money for that shit. There's no money I can't best figure it out. Best you can make. Yeah, but my dad. I have to say that my life has become so much easier with not having to deal with air conditioners. Yeah, but see, my dad grew up poor, and like he'll tell you, like he won't even buy a new pair of boots when his has got holes in them. I'm, he, yeah. His his my stepmom's got to trick him into it. Hmm. She's the way he works is you got to make it think it's his idea because if you don't, he uh, won't do it. Yeah, my dad's the same way. So 
he's like like he told me i was like i was telling him about something and i was like you just need to go out and buy yourself a new one and he goes son i remember when i didn't have a penny to my name now if i yeah. got doesn't matter how many pennies got in my name i like to hold on to it i was like yeah but dad where's it gonna go when you go man just, you can't take Apparently it when you go the same way. i was like just, just, you're getting up there to the point where you you know, just live what life you got left in luxury, my dude. Yeah, yeah. I get it, but I don't want to spend money. I, I want to leave you something. Yeah. I can't it's, leave you the house. So I'm gonna leave you something. Away. My dad, I've been fine. I'll be fine after. <laughs> just live your life, my guy. Mm. Yep. My, my dad grew up poor and he is like furniture we don't need furniture oh my cloud motion path of effects yeah. my, my dad I kid you not he got he his boots were too small for him and he literally wore those boots for I'd say a good two two and a half years and my, my step yeah. kept saying oh you gotta you gotta get the correct size. He goes, oh, I can't turn these and wear them. You know, I don't know what she had to do, but she took him in the tractor supply. He got looking; they were on sale. He goes, "These are nice boots. I, I could use a new pair of boots." And she goes, "Yes, you can. You should get those." Well, maybe I'll splurge. <laughs> he got the damn freight size. Oh, my dad grew up like really poor outside of Detroit, and then my mom uh, did not, because she had the, uh, the Irish mob delivering stuff that fell off the truck. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, my mom is like, we need to have the central AC. And my dad's like, well, I didn't have AC when I was growing up, so we don't need it. And then sure it takes... would be a shame if she just called somebody and had him come out and do it. <laughs> oh, I... I We're know. here to discuss... Uh... I wish she still had those connections. I wish I still had those connections. I wish she still had those connections. Yeah, that'd be great. <laughs> I know a guy... But yeah, my, don't need to be a guy anymore. My grandfather worked for the uh, the Whitey Bulger group, so it was always like dropping off a new Cadillac and being like, oh, you know, didn't make it to the dealership. Hey, there was a section about him in the uh, in the crime museum. Yep. <laughs> yep. Jeez. My family's very familiar with him. I'm gonna head off for the night. Good night, Brandon. Have a good night. Have a good night. The funny thing is, like, my mom didn't connect the dots until like a lot later in life. Where she'd be like telling us bedtime stories about her childhood and stuff, and then I think she like, as she was retelling childhood stories, kind of pieced it together and was like, "Oh shit." <laughs> <laughs> like, pretty sure that like my dad was involved in the mob. <laughs> well, surprise. Yep. And then me now, I'm like, why didn't you keep those connections? Are yeah. You kidding me? I'll sleep over the day. I don't know. Text him and wife. Ah. I know a guy. Bada bing, bada boom. That was that was the other cool thing was in that museum. They had uh, the gun from Scarface and the uh, uh, guns that were used in uh, the Godfather yeah, movies. Movie. Yeah, but it's still cool. It's like part I like of real life stuff better. Yeah, no, I, I am not. I'm don't don't uh, disagree, but I just thought it was kind of cool that they had the actual guns from the movies in there. They had Jesse James's like 
the, the not not the oh, motorcycle guy. guy. No, no, not the motorcycle guy. Uh, the uh, his oh, guns. bloody That's floorboards all. from his house in there. I was like, yeah. what the fuck is this? This is the most random shit. Uh, just, yeah, that's weird. But they... I didn't like how they mixed Authentic with Replica. And there was nothing Replica in there. Yeah, there was. What? Half... Dude, one of your posts was... A lot of the stuff was Replica. Oh, you mean the stuff from the movies? No, not from the movies. Like, the original stuff. Half the stuff was Replica. I'm sure they're not gonna have everything real there. No, they can't. Like you can say I thought authentic all, the, you know, all you want, but I'm sure five museums say authentic. No, the the shit was real. No, there was one some thing. Stuff, go back to your post. There's stuff that said replica, yeah. like uh, Jesse James pistols and stuff. They, those were all replica. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. No, it's a real gun. It just it's not it, his it actual same, gun. Yeah, it wasn't his actual. It's gun. not a replica. It's a replica. That's, that's a well, it could be the demonstration. same year and stuff. Yeah, but it wasn't his. It doesn't claim to be his. I'm not saying it claimed to be his. That's what I'm saying. I'm just so, saying it was. In order to be a replica, it's got to be a fake remake of it. Oh, not no, an actual I mean, it's, gun that they're they're saying. It was a uh, real gun, but not his. Like the Schofield revolver here. Why are carried a Schofield revolver such as this one at the shootout for OK Crowd? Such, not as, saying such that, as. It's not saying. Yeah. Hey, but at this that point, is like okay, who cares? It's a it's yeah. a real. Re it's still cool. Yeah, it's to still see real, in person. But it's not. Yeah, 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 it's still real. But it's, it's still, still cool, cool to see in person because it's an old, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's an old sure. fucking revolver, yeah. revolver, but. Yeah, yeah, well, they don't claim is. for it to be a real thing. But I'm talking about like stuff that was actually oh, owned by people. The they had was really play. cool. Yeah. Oh yeah. The stuff that was replica. It's like okay, I don't need to see this. I'd rather see real stuff. No. So it's a. It's about crime and punishment. So it's not like. No, I know. So it, they're they're giving you the history and showing you like it. To me, that's a, I learn better that way. When I'm saying, oh wow, that's a fucking gun that yeah. they could have used. Not. They didn't actually use it, but that's something like they would have used. That's when you say replica, I th I'm thinking like a plastic like remake that they're trying to oh, pass off no, as real, no, no, not an actual. No. no, but there's a lot of companies that like will still make guns similar to that, yeah. and then try to pass it off as real. Yeah, no. But I'm saying I don't need a visual of a gun that you know wasn't actually his because it's like okay uh, well, what I, the, just, I just want to see the stuff that was his you know what, what I don't think I shared a picture of that was in there a handbag made by Monica Lewinsky I want to see the original dress dildo that was thrown oh onto God. the field for the Buffalo Bills Patriots game. <laughs> that's. T <laughs> I want to see that. I'm sure that's in a landfill somewhere. <laughs> no, it should be in a museum. That's that, museum quality. Yeah, no, yeah. that that should be in like a weird sports museum. Yeah. Or the penis museum in Amsterdam. Yeah, this dick was on the field. Imagine. I mean, it's got to be somewhere. Sure, probably I'm pretty sure a security guard picked it up and and kept it. He's like, this is gonna be yeah. memorable. This is a story right Can you imagine here. that it's showing up on Pawn himself. Stars? <laughs> just shows up on Pawn Stars. Like, I got a dildo here that was thrown on the field during an NFL yeah, game. Like, eh, well, I'll you give you ten what? cents for it. Uh, we can't match the serial number on it. Oh my god. <laughs> Oh, Jesus Christ. Yeah, why'd you have to go there? You, you're the one that brought it up. Yeah. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> oh, my God. That's the oddest thing I've ever heard somebody wanting to see in a museum. Can you imagine, like, taking your kid to, like, a, like, a, pretty sure, like, you have, like, a sports, like, Massachusetts sports 
Uh, well, yeah, I mean, the home of the Basketball Hall of Fame. So. Yeah, but, like, well, Delaware doesn't really have any sports, so we don't have one. But, like, Maryland yeah. has one. No, Virginia has one. So, uh, like, can you imagine, like, taking – it has a whole bunch of, like, Patriots, you know, like, memorabilia and stuff in there. And then there's just this – Well, there's the Patriots Hall of Fame, too. Giant-ass dildo sitting in the case. <laughs> You know, and you have to explain to little Timmy what that was all about. Hmm. Well, they should just have that clip on repeat, <laughs> right behind it. Just slow mo of it bouncing on the. Field. Yeah, it just like jiggles around. Man, <laughs> <laughs> why is there a penis in the case? Well, little Timmy, uh, let's see, you see, someone oh, threw that on the it. field. Actually, a very important event in NFL history. <laughs> Can you imagine the backstory is so much wilder? Like Tina th- th- was just going to town on herself and sneezed really hard and shot out onto the field. Oh my god! Right, she's just All looking at the picture right, of Tom gonna... Brady. <laughs> she, she, she's just jawing herself to the damn. <laughs> like, oh yeah, Tom <laughs> Brady. Tom and then Brady. Just, like, a seasonal al- allergies. A chew. <laughs> Just <laughs> right out of the field. <laughs> I wish it was that. <laughs> I would do too. Cause you, you imagine how that woman would feel. Who don't know. <laughs> yeah, but I'm almost more impressed by like the failed high school quarterback who's just like launched it like a hail mary onto bitch. the field. Yeah, just like. <laughs> Yeah, I can throw this in a tight spiral. Yeah. <laughs> it was just like, wow. <laughs> It'd been better if it, like, went through the guy's face mask right into, like, right into his eye. Or it got boom. lodged. What the? F- <laughs> or just lodged in the face mask. That'd be better. <laughs> Tom Brady's getting carted off the field after he got dicked in the forehead. <laughs> <laughs> Sticking out, yeah. <sighs> My field's done. What about yours, man? Uh, oh, shit. One of mine's done. I got the other one. He's sitting there doing nothing. He forgot about it. What? I wasn't doing nothing. Okay. What? Oh, he what was moving. He was driving was he? north. Oh, okay. So I was he was moving. Damn. All right, all right, all right. All right, all right, all right. All right. I forgot about the other field. We watched <gasps> that, uh, that The Lost City with Chan Tatum and What's Her Face and. Daniel Radcliffe. Chan Daniel Tatum. Radcliffe? Yeah. You don't remember you told me he was the bad guy in this movie? Oh, 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 yeah, shit, right. Yeah, how was it? Um, his, he good. was he was really corny. Um, put that out there. Yeah, that's what he's probably trying to do. Um, but Chan, T- Chan Tatum was fucking hilarious and Brad Pitt was fucking hilarious too <laughs> that, them two were the best part of the whole fucking movie <laughs> Brad Pitt's ex-Navy SEAL and he shows up to help Chan Tatum so he's like yeah we're, we're gonna hop in the car <laughs> we're gonna head out into the jungle so there's a big ass Dodge pickup truck sitting there and Chan Tatum with his fucking neck pillow <laughs> <laughs> in his roller suitcase, he picks it up, tosses it in the back of the pickup, and Brad Pitt looks at him like, "What are you doing?" He's like, "Put my stuff in the back of your truck." No, this is my car. It's this little rinky dink car that says "Cutie" on the front. But yeah, no, it yeah, it weird. was it was all right, but it wasn't great by any means. Oh, hey, this car still needs to be taken back to the farm if you want to do that. This what? This grain cart needs to be taken back to the farm if you want to do that. Sure. 
Fantastic. Fantiddly tastic. Yep. Oh, and I seen a uh, Pigeon Forge uh, Police Department's F one fifty. Yeah. It's so nice. I hate Ford, yeah. but it's so nice. <laughs> I got like three F one fifties to try out in the server too. So I need to put them all in there and just, just check shit out. It's been a while since I've been by them. Yeah. God, like a year and a half. Uh like two months for me. Okay. I, I had the server up right before we left, I had the server up and then we lost power and I never Fired it back up. We lost power like a week before I left. So, but I had the server up. I was in there playing around. And somebody else went in and was playing around the server too. I don't know who it was, but hmm. it was someone in there. I should say it was someone in our Discord, but I can't remember who it was. There you go. I see why you wanted me to take this thing. It doesn't go over 19 miles per hour. No. <laughs> that and I'm also working in a field I just finished. I'm trying to catch a bet, Tony. I'm hot. Oh, kind of. I'm gonna give you this. The further south you go, the more open they are about their uh, adult bookstores. Whew. I've seen like five alone coming into Pigeon Forge. It's very different down there. Eh. Oh, that's right. You got a rough picture to this anyway, so I can't be right by. They got a giant. Yeah. Ass, uh, to put in perspective, they opened one in Dover. And they named it Bendover. My God. And <laughs> people were actually uh, petitioning it to make them change their name because they found it was offensive. Down there, as you're coming off the freeway, they have a giant ass billboard for a, a store down there called Sexy Stuff. Yes. <laughs> yeah, and it's like Exit 69. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, you're, you're kidding me, right? This is a oh. giant ass billboard. No, they don't care down there. Nope. I love it. Yeah, I liked it too. <laughs> what I question is It's like their lack of caring about anything is because it's just so fucking hot down there. Mm, well, no, because well, yeah, it was it was definitely it was like fifties here and it was eighties down there. So I was gonna say it wasn't that hot down there, but then I remembered it was like thirty degrees hotter down there than what it was here. Yeah, when I went to Talladega, it was like ninety seven, and that was in May. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, okay. It was like May seventh or May f no, it was single to Mayo. May fifth. And it was gonna be in the 90s. It's like, um, I think it's probably because, like, <laughs> if you want to protest something, you gotta be outside to like hold up your signs and stuff. And everyone's like, oh, nah, it's too fucking hot for that. Well, also down there, it's the type of living like you mind your own business. I'm gonna mind mine. True. Where up here, True. everybody's like. They gotta know what everybody else is doing, and they have True, to have which makes their you wonder with all this it. stuff that's going on, where it's just like, uh, I can't get involved in this. That's your business. Yeah, that's. I mean, the world would be a much better place if people just minded their own business. That. Yeah. Well, I can understand some things. Some things you do have to intervene. Yes, but for the most part, if someone feels a certain way. 
Just let him feel it. it. If it doesn't affect you, shut the fuck up. Leave. Yeah. Leave. Leave him alone. Well, that's care. how it used to be. But with all the amendments and stuff, and granted, some of the amendments were good, some of them bad. I mean, like making an amendment to ban alcohol. Like, get out of your face. Yeah, no, that that's worth riding over. But you know. Yeah, but the, it also like it took away a freedom. Yeah. Which goes against the Constitution. Well, all this side. stuff I don't understand. Like, there's a there's a freedom involved in your choice, and you can't just take it away. And I'm surprised that the argument hasn't come up that it's against the initial Bill of Rights. Although they interviewed people even around Boston, and there's like people around here that are still like very much in favor of and approving of what? Banning um, alcohol? Nope. Oh, sorry, the uh, Roe v. Wade overturning. Ah. Uh. Here's my thing about that, at knowing people who have gone through it and how bad it's messed them up. I feel like no, no one should be able to tell you what you can, and can't do. But we that's need, what I'm saying. We need to provide like better. If you're going counseling to do for that, people, then you need to provide some support. Yeah, you, need, you know, like definitely need some counseling, like. Before and after, like I just like I said, I know people who've gone through it. I know how bad it's messed them up. I know how much they regret it. There's it's other people that don't, which you know, that's their thing. But yeah, I third. I mean, very much independent. Uh, but th the vast majority is like they need some kind of help. Yeah. If that's how it's gonna be. Hey, there's that dead. What in the fuck are you driving? Also, that's um, totally effed up. It's totally effed up. So sorry. No, not you, Phoenix. He was just driving in the no. fucking ditch. I was saying, Funzies. so sorry to express my personal opinion, but that's just messed up. You know, I have one of those. That's against the rules. You cis white that's male. Like, but what I'm saying is, <laughs> it goes against. They had, like, initial, like, Bill of Rights and all that stuff. Like, it goes against personal freedom. Uh, uh, like, I'll, nobody can, nobody can control that. That that's yeah, no, not right. I here, I'll that's go not out. Right. I'll go out on a limb here, and I'll, I'll I'll lay out how I feel about everything. I personally am, am against it. M morally, I just I don't I I can't say oh yeah that that's perfectly fine. But if it's if it's your you know your choice your you know it's your body your choice. Just don't force it on everybody else. Don't try to make it seem like it's a cool thing because there's people who have actually gone through it and you know, it's messed that's what them I'm up. Saying. But you know again your business is your business. My business is my business. Let's just. 
mind it up, mind our own. So that's all I, all I ask. But yeah. I do think we need to do something for the father's rights because a mother can easily choose to do it without consulting the father. And again, it's, it's their body, but he also has parental rights as well. And that that gets overlooked to an extent. That gets over. I mean, if to an if, extent. I, I get the it's the mother's body, but if the father's willing to step up and take care of the baby, he should have some some sort of say in, in the matter as well. Uh, yeah, yeah but that's then my there only should be, great. There should be a separate court system for that, where they can go to court to go over that, or a counselor. Like that's where. It, that kind of stuff belongs. Yeah, but no. From but from a legal standpoint, that stuff doesn't belong there. But like, you can't make opinions legal. No, no. Or illegal. But you can, you can definitely make rights, parental rights for the father oh. legal. You can, but I don't think overturning this is the way to do it. No, no, I'm, I, I'm not saying uh, no. That's not, I'm not in favor of overturning it at yeah, all. Uh, that's not what I'm saying. I'm saying I'm personally, myself, am, am against. I wouldn't. I, I would never. If I was put in that position, I wouldn't do it. If, like, my significant other was put in that position, I would ask him not to. Oh. My yeah, I mean my opinion is it needs to be like a a mutual decision. Yeah. And if the parties are not mutual, then it shouldn't happen. Cuz otherwise like what kind of life is going to be had? Just like uh, I mean, not I don't great. understand why there's people still arguing against gay marriage. God, yeah, if you're happy, you're happy. Holy shit, marry that, what you want. Yeah, everyone <laughs> just needs to fuck off. Yeah. Well, it's most of the government just needs to fuck off. I think they make it, like, these issues and I'm sorry, worse than what it what? actually is. Like, you know, I'm independent, but tend to, from a fiscal perspective lean more towards Republican stuff um, and then more towards like social issues like this I tend to be more democratic but I also believe in like the initial like if everyone went back and this is why I don't understand why the Supreme Court's have, having such a hard time with this well, I take that back. I do understand. It's because they're influenced. But, like... They're influencers. The initial, <laughs> the initial Constitution is, like, pretty cut and dry. And yeah. it really encompasses everything. But then people started to decide to scrutinize every single word in the Constitution. And be like, well, they didn't mean this when they said this. Yeah, they clearly meant that you could have a pair of bare arms. I mean, God. You don't right. get a gun. So like if get... I wanted to surgically remove my arms and put on bare arms, I should be yeah. able to do that. It says I have the yeah. right to bare arms. Jeez. Yeah. But the do, uh, stupid stuff. It's like, uh, yeah, just... But get us off topic here. Uh, have you been looking for this to me? And what? Have you been looking for another semi? No. I just thought I'm gonna go soft top at you. No. I haven't found one better. I mean, the best one out is gonna be that TLX. That's that's what I was really asking. If you found a better one. Yeah, no, not really. Because it seems like all the ones that look really, really good have like power issues and that whole herky jerky issue yeah. and then the ones that suck or like look like shit 
work good, but they look like shit. There's no uh, middle ground. That's no like the between. most middle ground you got. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. I gotta go. <laughs> yeah. Ooh. He goes. Is he in trouble? No, I'm not actually. <laughs> you get some action. Maybe. Uh, no. No, we're both we're both too full on chicken parm. <laughs> the only difference is she's sleeping. Oh my god! I gotta wake her up though. Oh, he's got a shit. No, I already took a dump, man. Oh my god! It's just there's a difference if I come down there to wake her up at twelve thirty versus if I come down and wake her up at three in the morning. Right. Especially because uh, it's going to be 95 here tomorrow, and she wants to that's go right. to the beach and do outdoor activities, and I'm trying to convince her that that's a stupid plan, and we should do something inside. <laughs> so, Mike, what are you doing, man? Well, she doesn't understand that, like, yeah, it's going to be 95, but the ocean temp is 50. Yeah, that'll you shock get your body pretty quick. thermia from that. And she wants to do stand-up paddle boarding. It's like, what? Well, don't fall in. That's what she said. She's like, well, if you don't fall in, it's not a problem. It's like, okay. Well, if you do, you're okay. going to die. <laughs> it's like, I'm sorry. Are you a fucking lifeguard? No. Jesus. Well, then we're not doing that. So we have to come up with a plan of something to do because... You know, she's done with school, and, uh... Relax. I... Yeah, but you know what? Here's the difference. Like, my hobby is... Gaming? Yep. You gotta find her a hobby. You gotta get her, her a PC. Hobby, her hobbies are... <laughs> not <laughs> gaming. Uh, not, not gaming. Not sitting around doing nothing. Paying attention to her husband. So, we're we're working on that. We're trying to find her a hobby. Yeah, that's fair. <sighs> but, for the meantime... Yeah, relax. Oh, yeah, sorry. But, uh, what's the... What are you guys doing tomorrow? I don't really have a plan. Oh, crap. Uh, no, we could do some Red Dead or... Truck Sim... I was gonna or say, if you're trucking, let me know. Tyler can install the state of, state of Decay, and when he goes to bed, and we can play that tomorrow. I'll see you guys can play that. Oh, don't be a puss. Join us. Uh, it's free. It's, it's free. free to play. Or it's free, but I don't have enough space. So I gotta clear out my other drive. It's only 20 gigs. Don't be a puss. Yeah, yeah. it's just this whole thing. I deleted two games for it. Did you? Yeah. I delete your mom's phone number for it. To delete. Lawn mowing simulator. Goodbye. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, that's gonna do it for me for tonight. If you guys did Snow enjoy runner, the stream, gone. be sure to leave a like down below. Oh, it does yeah, that help was me out. So very much. Sadly, it's a good game. We just, I do appreciate it so very much. It is. Just if you guys with, do want to see the future mod issue that we had. That's yeah, no mods, just straight farming them live streams. Be sure yeah. to click the subscribe button. If you guys want to be notified whenever I do go live or upload a video, no click the notification really bell. And as always, guys, thank you so very much for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.